All right. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Welcome to the channel today. It's Stock Markets with Bruce, where we try to uh, tell you what's going on in the market in plain English. Uh, that's kind of what I kind of what I do here. Um, do the best I can with what little I have. Um, we are here on Thursday, January the 20th, 2022. Welcome. Um, I have um, me mute that right over there. Lots to talk about as usual. There's all there's so many cross currents going on in the markets as there always are. And uh, I try to give you guys kind of the bigger picture that you need to pay attention to rather than just you know, a stock quote only on this or that. Um, you know, if this happens, will that happen? What, when will that happen so that this will happen? On and on we go. Um, the talk today, um, it, it's, it's beginning to percolate now. This is, these are early, early indications. Um, you might hear about this in the next week to two weeks uh, on your own. You'll, you'll, you'll begin to, <clears throat> you might begin to read or hear this talk begin to come into the marketplace and you're going to say, oh, he, he was talking about that. That Uncle Bruce guy was talking about this uh, back on January the 20th. Um, the latest uh, scuttlebutt, I suppose, uh, is that um, at the moment, right now, as I'm sitting here talking to you, you are not reading any uh, quotes and you're not getting any reaction on any media from any members of the Federal Reserve Banking Committee. The people that meet to discuss the future of interest rates, monetary policy, all this stuff. Uh, Mr. Powell is the chairman of the Fed. These guys, you're not hearing a word from them right now. Absolutely nothing. No one making speeches, no one conducting interviews, zip. And the reason is that at the moment, there is a, um, a publication ban. Uh, there's a complete, uh, uh, What's the word I keep looking for? I'm, I'm desperately trying to find this word. <clears throat> there's a there's a there's a complete shutdown of communications from Federal Reserve people to the media. Absolute silent. This is the silent period. I guess that's what they're calling it. The quiet period, silent period. Which of course leaves the 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 speculation to everybody else. And um, uh, the the uh, speculation now, without Fed governors getting in the way of getting in the way of anything. Is people are, are, are analysts out there are, are studying everything as as they always do. Interest rate people, bond people, um, are the twitchiest, uh, most nervous people on the planet. Uh, a one one hundredth of a percentage move on a bond treasury note just is an earthquake. Um, where to us we go hundredth of a percentage point. What are you talking about? Anyway, um, at the end of the day, um, the story goes that. Uh, uh, the fear from the Fed in the last two months was interest uh, was inflation, supply chain interruptions, and an overheating economy. All these job openings, people quitting jobs, and and you know one and a half jobs for every person if you want one. All of a sudden, in the last couple of days, things have shifted a bit more. Uh, thank you, blackout DQ, blackout. Um, things have shifted. All of a sudden, it's it's. Um, come to the realization, the, 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 the Fed people and all the analysts that are advising these guys that are noticing supply chain scenarios aren't quite so bad anymore. We're getting through this slowly but surely. Uh, inflation might well be temporary, much more temporary than we thought, more of a one shot rather than a constant drumbeat of, of, of higher prices. Certainly not seven to ten percent. We're now we're now leaning like four to six percent or less. Um, and the markets have already telegraphed to the Fed what the market thinks about the idea that there might be four interest rate increases in 2022. The Dow's off two thousand points in ten days. Uh, the Nasdaq is in correction territory right now. The Nasdaq is off more than ten percent from its highs of just two weeks ago. The market has quickly told the Fed, "This isn't going over very well over here. We're not all that impressed with this kind of talk and move." Now the thinking is uh, among some of the observers of the Fed and all these again experts. 
there's whisper talk now, whisper rumors that we might only have two rate increases. And the first indication of this will come out once uh, Powell, Chairman Powell, comes out of the blackout period and um, quotes will start to come out from some of the Fed officials, the most hawkish federal officials. These are the ones who want tighter, higher rates and a tighter monetary policy. These folks um, could well start to tone down their hawkishness and not be as aggressive when it comes to raising rates substantially uh, in a hurry uh, this kind of thing. There was They were criticized. The Fed officials had been criticized by market professionals that you're way behind the curve. You're way behind the market. The market is so far ahead of you guys. You should have raised rates already. You, already should, you should already be raising rates a quarter point every three months, but you haven't done anything. And now the talk is, well, you can't go with a quarter point every three months. You, that's too fast. It's like running the bathwater, you know, you're constantly adjusting it. To just, it's too hot. It's too cold. It's just too hot. You're always adjusting it just to get it right. Um, well, that's what's happening here at the Fed. Now, if indeed we begin to get more of a slightly less hawkish talk out of the Fed, a little more dovish, this could create a run on the markets, a serious run on the market, a good run, not a bad run. A good run. Um, in the last two weeks, we have had FANG stocks and other high growth stocks just take it on the chin. I mean, uh, Home Depot is off 15%. Uh, Microsoft is way off. Uh, um, face, uh, Facebook is backed off. Um, we did see 180 something on uh, Apple. Now we're in the 160s. Uh, we've had the 10, 12% correction already on a number of the big capitalized stocks. It's already happened. There is no more 10, 12% correction coming on Apple. It's, it's here now. If we get a 12% reduction on Apple now, that's because we have a recession coming. That, that would be the, the, the signal, but I don't see that. And so to, to, to kind of calm things down a little bit, do not be surprised if you begin to hear more rumors from other sources about the idea that interest rates might go up in 2022. Yes, there's there's definitely talk of that because they're basically at zero, uh, but not four rate increases and not as ing aggressive as people had thought. Uh, there were some who were saying, oh, we're going to go up 2%, uh, two full percentage points, a half a point every three months. We're going to really nail down inflation. We're going to really nail down this economy. We're going to tamper it down. And now the talk is, no, 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 that's not happening. We, we don't have as strong as economy as that. We don't need an economy to be whacked like that. We need just a little more of a, kind of like take, take the foot off the gas pedal a little bit and just coast for a while. We're, we don't need to put the brakes on here. And so the markets are maybe reacting a little bit to this, but in the next week or two, we might get a lot more of a reaction and a repositioning of stock all over again, where the exodus came from the high growth, high PE multiple stocks, stocks with high price earnings multiples. The exodus came from those stocks and went into the lower PE multiple areas, went into T-bills, uh, went into bonds. We, we saw interest rates rising up to the 1.8, 1.9 range on 10 years. Now the thinking is we may see the 10 year come back into the 175 neighborhood. We might see uh, uh, bonds uh, back off a little bit and money come back into the equity market where the deals are. Well, where are the deals? Uh, the deals are uh, with all the stocks that have been dumped the last two, three weeks, right through taxation uh, selling season and into the first two weeks, three weeks of this year. So watch for possible um, realignment of stocks. So those of you who are uh, buying, trying to buy deep in the money calls, on Goldman Sachs, on uh, Apple, on uh, Facebook, Microsoft, um, IBM, uh, you better make your move now. You, you <laughs> don't be dilly-dallying anymore. If you have had an idea of buying some deep in the money calls that you want to write puts against as short as, as poor man covered calls, now is the time to make your move because the markets have done their thing. They've backed off and some of these stocks have really taken a whack and they're at, uh, they're at buy levels. Just 
hearing what I'm hearing and I'm passing it on in a plain English format if I can to give you an idea of what uh, what's going on. As we are sitting here right now, the Dow is up 146 points after dropping 300 something last night and about 200 of that was in the last hour yesterday. Uh, 22 point gain on S&P right now and a 138 point gain on NASDAQ. Oil is off 59 cents to 8637. Uh, Oil is way overcooked. 15 20 bucks a barrel without a doubt, but uh, my long-term opinion on oil is much worse than that. But in any event, it's off a little today. We'll see how this plays itself out. Um, SoFi and other stocks. Let's take a look at our fun uh, watch list and see how we're doing this morning. I'm showing right now in the pre-market um, with 45 or so minutes to go before we start trading. I've got Rocket Lab up 15 cents at $10 even. I have SoFi up 53 cents this morning at Fourteen twenty-five. More positive articles are coming out on SoFi. GameStop up a dollar seventy to one hundred eight twenty-seven. Lots of speculation around GameStop. Will the merger between Microsoft and Activision be bad news for GameStop? The worst-case scenario talk is that games uh, that GameStop will be shut out of all new product releases because Activision and Microsoft will only produce everything digitally. Uh, think again, kids, uh, unlikely to happen. Uh, first of all, I think regulators will put a kibosh to that uh, as far as collusion goes. And number two, why would uh, uh, Microsoft kill its own Xbox? <laughs> it makes no sense. Uh, Microsoft has a huge portion of this, uh, this uh, market with consoles. <clears throat> and uh, their software business and everything else, I, I, I see a symbiotic relationship and I actually see a strengthening of the relationship between Microsoft and GameStop in the long run because game, Microsoft does not have retail locations. They shut, down, they shut them all down. Their best friend in the retail world is GameStop and they actually need GameStop more than you think because GameStop has 5,000 or 4,000 retail locations that can instantly offer a Microsoft product physically, along with the personnel to expertly explain how everything works. Um, if Microsoft had to set up retail locations for their Xboxes with their own advisors, they, their margins would get crushed. So I don't see it as a negative for GameStop, but that's, again, that's me. I'm waiting for GameStop to show me a bottom. I've been waiting now for a week and a half, two weeks, we have gone through now several weeks. Of, uh, we had a couple of weeks of, of upside downside in the fall, through the winter. Here we are into January. We're not being given, any of us are being given any indication by the company, GameStop, that the worst is over. We're not being given any indication from GameStop that they're about to uh, talk to us about their future plans and what's happening. We got have no updates. We're waiting now for the next quarterly financials. So you know what those are like. Those are nothing burgers. Uh, they they release the financials. They call a conference call. They read a script, and then they, they don't take questions. Uh, these are nothing events. Uh, we need something more, and I don't know if we're going to get it. I want to see this stock. Show me. You show me GameStop. That 104 yesterday or whatever the low price was the last couple of days is the low. Show me a bounce back. If I see a bounce back to 120, 125, 130, 35, something like that, I'm convinced that we've had the low. But if you don't show me something like this, we're going lower and we'll break 100 and we'll go into the 90s. You show me the bottom. Where is it? Where? where just tell me where it is. Show me the bottom and then we'll go from there. But I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen evidence of it yet and I'm waiting. So here we are. See what gives. That's GameStop. Um, Matterport up 17 cents to 12.08. Uh, the question keeps coming up every single day now for two weeks. Where's the bottom on this one? Where is the bottom on Matterport? We thought for sure it wouldn't go under 20. We thought for sure it wouldn't go under 15. We thought for sure it wouldn't see the light of day around 11 or 12 dollars. Well, it dropped 98 cents yesterday to 11.91 final trade. We're at 12.09 in the pre-market up 18 cents. Show me Where's the turnaround on Matterport? And then I'll tell you that I think this is it. 23andMe up seven cents to 488. I, I get the impression we're at the low, but uh, I 
can't tell you for sure. We need a bounce back to six, seven bucks. Spire is up 17 cents this morning to 255. Happy to see a 17 cent pop, but I would really like to see Spire give me two or three days in a row of 15, 20 cent pops every day. You show me two or three days of this kind of stuff and I'll believe it because right now you're setting me up for a little bounce back and then another drop, a dead cat bounce and another drop. And uh, I, I want to see more. ATIP 376 up three cents. This one is holding the recent move it had, the 70 cent move last week. Happy to see the hold, but I now want to see follow through up through four dollars. I want to see the stock at 425, 450 on a, on a, on a short term basis to convince me that we're having even better days coming our way. I think that uh, ATIP is definitely uh, in better shape now corporately uh, and definitely in better shape now with regards to how many employees they've been able to attract, how many clients they can handle, all of that stuff. But uh, the stock has to show me a little more. I'm happy where it's at compared to where it was at, but I want more. Uh, smart Rent. 748 last night. I haven't got any trades this morning to talk to you about. Sixtera, 1081 yesterday, 1089 right now, up eight cents. Uh, again, uh, this is one of those stocks that, you know, it'll go up a dollar for no reason. Um, and that could well happen today. Would love to see it happen. Go back to 12. Let's roll. Apple, 166.23 last night, down 357 yesterday, up 87 cents this morning. Not a very dramatic recovery in the pre-market. Uh, this is kind of what bugs me about Apple. It, it's uh, at a high in the 180s now, 16667 with not a big bounce up. Kind of wondering, is this is just a, a, a little, you know, three down, one up, and then three down again? Like what's going on? Um, Goldman, another one, 349 in the pre-market, up a dollar 68. This is ridiculous. This stock is $20 underpriced now at the low end, let alone near anywhere near where it should be. This thing is trading at under six times earnings or so. This is ridiculous. Um, I think it's an overreaction. And I guess, it, I, I guess if the rumors are true and we find out in the next week that the markets uh, may not get four interest rate hikes next um, year as had been predicted, Goldman might pop a little back to 370, 380. Uh, but then again, higher rates were supposed to make Goldman money. Well, why isn't Goldman at 450 then? If, if, if there's gonna be four interest rate hikes next year, why isn't Goldman at 450 instead of 350? You tell me, I don't see it. I'm waiting, uh, Cisco up 32 cents this morning. We lost 83 yesterday, we're at 59.23. Um, we were as high as 64 odd. I think we might be towards this, uh, the end of this uh, down cycle. We'll watch that. And uh, Tesla is up $17 uh, at 1,012, uh, closed at 9.95 last night. Um, earnings coming for Tesla in the not too distant future. We'll wait for that, look for that, see what happens. Um, let's see, what else? Um, US weekly initial jobless claims have come out up 55,000 to 286,000. And again, this is one of those statistics that the Fed watchers watch very, very closely. They look at this and go, wait a minute. We were given the indication here that the economy is overheating. We were given the indication that we have to crush inflation because the economy, the economy is too hot and demand is too robust that we can't blame it on supply chain issues. We've got to raise rates. Now you're telling me that uh, weekly uh, jobless claims are up 55,000 from to, to up to 286. Wait a minute, well, this isn't this isn't a hot economy. This isn't an overheated economy. There's there's issues here. What what what's mixed signals? Mixed signals everywhere. And we'll have to watch to see how this plays out. We may find it. There might be interest rate hikes, but one, the first one may not come out in March, it might be in June instead of March. And the second one will be in October or November, uh, maybe, uh, and uh, maybe only go up half a point next year. This market could go much higher uh, if this is uh, perceived to be the reality. Um, just stick around, we'll see what's uh, going on. Let's see what happens. Anyway, there's there's some of the latest there. Uh, we'll watch the uh, reaction uh, as to how this market uh, 
you know, goes with it. 1424 now on SoFi, volume of 2.1 million shares in the pre-market. This is almost the high of the pre-market this morning. We were in the 1430 range, I think, last night. Um, so we may inch a little higher yet. Um, I'm, I'm looking at SoFi and just saying to myself, this really should be a lot higher than where it is. Anyone who's selling here, I can't explain why. Um, I cannot explain why anyone would want to sell their SoFi at 1424 a share, knowing what you now know about SoFi. <laughs> I I don't I don't get it. Um, you know, you've got the big announcement that you needed. You've got the change in corporate structure that you were calling for. You're wondering about. You're speculating about. There were doubters who were saying that they're never going to get their uh, they're never going to get their uh, charter. These guys are never going to get their charter. Uh, they're they're too inexperienced. Uh, they are too regional. Their uh, fintechs will never become banks. Blah blah blah. All kinds of doubters. They've all been proven wrong. They've all been blown out of the water. And where are the supporters? And where are the fans of this stock and this company going? See, I told you so. I told you they'd get their charter. And when they get their charter. These guys are going to make a whole lot more money. They can now borrow money at one third the cost that they've been paying to get money to lend to their clients who are very eager to do business with them. These guys are now going to be able to operate at much lower margins than any standalone bank. Compare this company, say, five years from now, 10 years from now, to Bank of America, Wells Fargo, uh, Chase Manhattan, any bank out there that has branch offices all over the place. Uh, to a company that has no branch offices uh, everywhere. They don't have leases uh, with all kinds of landlords. They don't have property taxes to worry about. They don't have city taxes to worry about. They don't have state taxes to worry about with, 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 uh, with locations in various areas. They don't need security guards to, to take care of their uh, banks. They don't need a big fat vault that's $20 million that's you know, keeps all the valuables in the vault. They, they don't need that stuff. These guys are completely digital. And yet they can offer a car loan on one of these. I mean, you, you, can, you can be pre-approved for a car loan on this uh, without ever, ever seeing a bank manager. I mean, wow, you never have the humiliation of going into a branch and sitting behind a desk with whatever kind of individual works for the bank, sometimes they're great people, sometimes they're a-holes, um, and uh, you never have the humiliation ever again of being told that you're not credit worthy or they kind of look at you kind of funny and uh, try to figure out who you're, what you are and what you're about. You have to explain yourself to people. I mean, this is, this is over. Uh, there are now, there are 20 and 30-somethings already who use SoFi. Okay. In the next 15, 20 years, all 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 somethings will now be using SoFi. And those who use the branches are going to be 55 and older. In the next 15, 20 years, it'll be senior citizens will be the only ones left using banks. And even they won't use banks in person anymore. They'll use it all, it'll be all digital, completely digital. There will be people who will, who will deal with SoFi with hundreds of thousands of their own dollars, never having st set foot in, in a SoFi branch ever, ever. Um, that's how this company is going to roll. And these guys are going to roll quite profitably, thank you very much. Their margins are going to be phenomenal because their expenses are a fraction of the competition that they're up against. And I don't know how B of A and uh, Wells can beat these guys. Uh, the only way they can beat them is if they buy them. That's the only way. They can beat them by buying them. And uh, and then that way it's part of their you know banking company. But I just have a feeling that uh, SoFi will become part of eventually a very large um, uh, multi-trillion dollar organization. Uh, that could be Apple, that could be, uh, that could be Google, that could be, um, Walmart, it could be, uh, uh, could be Oracle, it could be uh, Facebook, it, uh, it could be a large out outfits that would like to have fintech banking through a charter uh, as part of their overall structure. And it'll be a beautiful corporation, a beautiful subsidiary company to have as part of the overall picture. Just like, like, like Microsoft. 
Microsoft has their headquarters in, in Washington for all their software and everything else and in all their branch offices. And now they have this new division called Activision. They, they, they're now getting that and they've, they've figured out their components. And I can see uh, SoFi could possibly be a component of a very large online presence type corporation. Happen this week? No. Happen this month? No. Happen this next year? Maybe. Um, the stock won't be at 14 bucks uh, when this happens. And if the rumor comes out that there's four or five potential suitors for this entity, that this entity is truly in play, and the rumor mill starts, this thing triples first. Then the rumors get interesting. Uh, and then, of course, there'll be a premium on top of that. So uh, I don't know. For a three handle? In my opinion, is uh, the minimum that this thing will uh, will generate um, if it's ever becomes part of somebody else. But that's just me uh, speculating. Uh, you know, face for radio. What can I say? Um, we are now uh, <clears throat> 32 minutes away from opening. Uh, 9.99 on Rocket Lab, up 14 cents. We're at 14.23 on SoFi. 108.60 to up two bucks on GameStop. 12.05, up 14 cents on Matterport. We got a seven cent gain right now on uh, ME, 23andMe at 488. We're at 245, up seven cents now on Spire, giving up some gains. ATIP showing still a three cent gain at 276. I've got uh, Smart Rent with no changes. I've got Sextera up eight cents to 1089. Apple up 92 cents to 167.12. That's climbing a little bit right now. Goldman only up a dollar sixty-eight to two three hundred forty-nine dollars. I've got a thirty-cent gain on uh, Cisco at fifty-nine twenty, and I got an eighteen fifty gain on Tesla, one thousand fourteen on Tesla. The Dow is up one thirty-nine. S and P showing a pre-market gain of twenty-three, and Nasdaq showing a one hundred and fifty-two point gain of one percent. And this is the sign you are looking for. You are wondering with a 10% plus drop in the value of the NASDAQ index uh, in now in correction territory. And this morning it is up 154 points or 1% versus Dow up 0.39% and the S&P only up half a point. You can see clearly that the NASDAQ market is outperforming the other two markets. If this is the pattern we're expecting going forward with an easing of the hawkish tone from the Fed, the NASDAQ market may come back quite a ways from that 10% drop, which will translate right into the Apples of the world, the Microsofts of the world, the Googles, the Amazon, the Netflix, all the FANG stocks, all the other software providers, and then growth stocks. And guess where we are sitting at? We've got growth stocks that we watch very closely. And there you have it. That's what we're wondering about. Going to be interesting. I do not see a Fed policy where they're going to tighten money supply and restrict business. I just don't see it. Um, Europe is, is, is in a recession and they are really low on interest rates. China is doing a preemptive strike this morning lowering their interest rates and have already mentioned to the US, we don't think it's a good idea if you guys raise your rates. We think you guys are on the wrong side of the trade and they're lowering their national interest rates today or yes, already today, overnight. Let's see what happens. Um, never, never know um, how this all works out. Anyway, there it is. That is the story. That is the dealio. Welcome one and all to the channel this morning. Nice to have you to have you here. Appreciate your uh, your following me. Uh, hope you had a good night. Hope you're staying healthy. Uh, we are hopefully busy uh, today, hopefully making money today. Thank you for those of you who have become subscribers of the channel. Those of you who have become gold bagel members of this channel. Uh, thank you. We had another uh, very good show last night. Uh, Primetime uh, Wednesday nights with Uncle Bruce, 8 o'clock Eastern Time answered a whole bunch of your questions about what's going on with the market and we talked about the SoFi story last night as it was developing and, and it just finished on CNBC and uh, we're uh, we're uh, trying to stay on top of this market every chance we get if you can become a uh, you do become a gold bagel member right here uh, you will be entitled to the Wednesday night primetime show and of course you can join me every morning before this show begins for the investor alert for gold bagel members and we do that every morning 
uh, before we go live. And it gives you a bit of a heads up of what, what's on my mind, what's going on, and what we should be looking for with regards to trades, just to let you uh, prepare a little more, especially you option, pro option traders out there who are looking to write call options and everything else. We are now 30 minutes away from the opening, and uh, we're going to see how this uh, starts off. We've got, uh, as I say, a, a positive vibe going on right now in the markets. Uh, I'm showing SoFi volume now uh, of 2.3 odd million uh, in, in the pre-market. Um, 14.24 uh, right now, <clears throat> uh, 53 cent gain so far. Um, can we see a one $2 move this week? Or, I mean, today on, on SoFi, could we go to 15.16? Yes, we could. Um, should we be at 15, 16? Uh, actually, we should be at 20 by now. Uh, we really should be higher. This stock is underperforming, but it was up against a pretty negative market yesterday. Uh, the Dow uh, gave up uh, 200 points in the last 30, 40 minutes yesterday afternoon. The S&P followed right along, as did NASDAQ. Um, there were no bargain hunters coming into the market uh, aggressively at the end of the day yesterday. They are here this morning. The bargain hunters are here now. They're fishing, they're looking around, and they're picking off some deals here and there. But we don't have a massive uh, start to the day at this point. I think a lot of folks are looking for a sign to tell them that now is the time to make the move. Um, of course, being the leader is sometimes the hardest position to take. And um, uh, some of these stocks, um, you know, they're, they're better. Yeah, they're better, but they're not uh, they're not uh, taking off on us yet. Um, we're up 150 now on the Dow, 25 on S&P, 166 Nasdaq, 1.1% gain. That's improving. Oil down 36 cents a barrel. Is where we're at, right here, right now. Welcome all to uh, to see you. Um, and Rob is saying, uh, you know, I used to be able to get some work done uh, before 8:30 in the morning. Um, but now, uh, with Bruce's morning alerts, uh, I, I don't get any work done. Uh, thanks again, Bruce. Uh, you're welcome, Rob. I'm here for you, or am I? Um, anyway, there you go. I think my gold level didn't renew. Abu will look later today, says Flint Creek. Um, thank you all for becoming gold members of this channel. Uh, let's see. Um, SoFi going to come out green and go red in the afternoon, says Dave. That's what he's thinking. Well, we'll find out. FX is a thumbs up number 165. For one, those of you out there wondering, why do people have a number beside their name? Because uh, I, I, I ask you and I beg you every day, I plead with you every day, please give this show a thumbs up rating if you could. It really helps this um, channel um, analytically. Um, every YouTuber begs, and I mean we beg for thumbs ups that you can hand up for nothing. They cost you nothing to give out. We beg you for thumbs ups because the analytics computers at YouTube are constantly measuring all the channels that are out there and they are looking to recommend channels to viewers, the billion viewers out there, uh, to try to fit the right viewer to the right channel. And uh, this channel here is competing against all the other stock market channels out of India, Pakistan, the UK, Europe, the United States, Canada, South America, everywhere, global audience. And um, every time we can get some thumbs up mo movement going on this show, the YouTube analytics computers sense, well, who's watching this guy? And where are these folks watching him from? And they quickly realize this guy has a global audience. This guy is not a USA channel. He's not even, a, he's not even from the USA. His channel is Canadian. This guy has an international following of, of, uh, of viewers every day on his channels. And these, uh, these viewers have a lot of engagement with this guy. This guy has a lot of this going on. We're going to promote this gentleman to another 50,000 people today. Maybe three or 400 will check him out for 5, 10, 15 minutes. And maybe 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 of those will become regular watchers of his. And we've just increased our audience. And this just adds and accumulates day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out. And the footprint gets larger and larger. And what are they exposed to? They're exposed to the greatest YouTubers money can buy. They're you guys. And they're following what we're following. 
they're all of a sudden becoming fans of SoFi. They're becoming fans of GameStop. They all of a sudden realize why they might want to consider becoming Spire shareholders and ATIP shareholders and Matterport shareholders and on and on and on. And uh, this is why I keep asking and begging for thumbs ups because <laughs> I'm trying to help you guys get richer. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Uh, the more people that follow this channel and the more people that follow these stocks, the more the more investors these stocks will get. And the more investors that are through this channel, the more powerful this channel gets in the marketplace and the more powerful this channel gets. It's just a better thing. Um, so if I put a call into the PR department or the investor relations department of company XYZ and say, Hey, hi, how are you? Listen, um, I have 5,000 viewers that watch me all the time live instead of 585. Um, I have uh, so many uh, millions of views a month uh, that follow your stock. Can you update us on what's going on? There's street cred there. Uh, but if I try to call them with uh, 322 viewers and say, hey, hey, listen, uh, can you update us on what's going on? They're going to go, uh, click. Uh, this is a nothing burger channel. We're not going to talk to this guy. We have to be taken seriously, and we are serious investors here. Uh, the street doesn't maybe doesn't understand it, but uh, you guys are serious investors, and we have a lot of stock in some of these companies that we're following here. And um, I think we're due some respect. Just my opinion. One way to get it: hit the thumbs up button and give this channel a chance to get noticed and followed. Two hundred and eighty right here. And when you hit the thumbs up button, say hi to me and say, Bruce, I'm thumbs up number 280. I'm thumbs up number 288. I'm thumbs up number 306. That would be good stuff. I thank you all so, so much. Um, Nomacity, thank you for renewing your membership. Chilling with Uncle Bruce. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that very much. Um, uh, thank you. A number of you yesterday were, um, were giving me uh, uh, messages. Uh, YouTube allows you to do these uh, I don't know what they're called. I'm going to call them monthly anniversary uh, alerts or something like that. You're allowed to send me a message through uh, YouTube that says, uh, I've been a member for eight months or nine months or 10 months or 11 months. Uh, I was amazed at how many of you um, mentioned that yesterday to me, that you're now 11 month members of this channel. You've been a, a paying member for 11 months. Uh, I keep forgetting uh, how long it's been. I know March 16th, we launched this this uh, channel. Uh, we launched uh, uh, the membership drive March 16th. That day I'll never forget. Um, and uh, February the 16th will be the 12th month uh, for, for a bunch of you guys who have been here the whole time. It's amazing. And so thank you all of you who have been members of this channel for you know whatever amount of time, a day, a week, a month, three months, five months, seven months. Uh, and definitely I do, uh, I do appreciate it when you uh, uh, send me a message saying, hey, Bruce, I'm a member now for five months or this is my six month anniversary or my eighth month. I appreciate uh, you letting us know that. That, that is really great. I, I just i am so busy, I forget. John Smith just upgraded his membership to Gold Bagel member level uh welcome to the gold bagel family john smith uh, appreciate you uh, uh, upgrading from um, um chilling with uncle bruce to gold member uh, to gold bagel member fabulous uh, you'll be able to join us every wednesday night at eight o'clock eastern and or watch the reruns of that show and of course every morning before i go live at 8 30 on this channel same thing you can uh, stay on top of that with us thank you john for becoming a new member of this channel i appreciate it He's getting nostalgic. Um, let's see. Um, well, I'd love to hear more, says Dave, about the insight into leadership at ATIP. Boy, would I. Me too. Um, I would love to hear. Um, I would like to hear an announcement from ATIP every 10 days, every week and a half. I'd like their, their uh, investor relations department to just tell us anything. Um, we hired a new janitorial service in Pittsburgh. Uh, we opened a new branch in Chicago. Uh, we've just land, uh, signed a lease with a, a landlord in Denver for four new locations. Uh, we just acquired uh, uh, five locations in San Diego. We've just, uh, I, I don't care what you tell me, just talk to us. Give us anything, anything that we can then talk about here officially, because we'll, we'll talk about everything ATIP. 
Uh, we're fans. We're fans of ATIP. We believe in the fact that uh, 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 physiotherapy is a big deal in North America amongst the aging population of this continent. We understand it. We get it. We get the ATIP growth story. We totally get it. We would love to expose it to all of our friends and relatives and, and associates around the world uh, directly or indirectly, if only we had the news coming from the official source itself, which is ATIP's own PR department. Um, same thing with Spire. Talk to us. Tell us anything. Don't talk to us about, or we're going to attend a, a show and tell in, in, in New York City virtually in two weeks. We don't care. Like, what do you freaking do? We don't care about that. We care, but we don't care because you're not talking to us over there. You're going to talk to some bunch of brokers over there that you hope will show up, and you're one of 20 companies, so don't think you're the star of the show. We don't buy that. We know that you're not the star of the show over there. You're just one of the others that is there. What we want from from Spire is uh, just tell us how many, uh, how are you doing in, in the satellite uh, management business? Um, what do the prospects look like for the next quarter? Uh, what are your hopes, dreams, and, 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 and aspirations going forward? Uh, uh, tell us about the rocket launch schedule for the next six months or three months. Tell us how many uh, orders you are behind. How, how long is your order book in front of you to get stuff done? Anything like that. We'll pass it on. We'll talk amongst ourselves once you give me this info. Uh, but right now, you're letting us speculate on our own. You don't want us doing that. You do not want us speculating on our own. That That's not what you want because we start talking stupid talk. We start making stupid stories up. You want us to talk about what's really happening here. Uh, that's what all of these public companies have to do. Some of these public companies, they've got their act together. They really got their acts together. And they know exactly what they're doing. And then others are clueless, completely clueless as to how to act as a public corporation. And I just, I'm just amazed that uh, that uh, that some of these Wall Street uh, firms who backed these guys with millions of dollars, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, haven't uh, had a little chat with the CEO over there, or the uh, president, or the chairman of the board. Um, haven't had a little one-on-one -on -one with a couple of dope slaps to wake them up. Um, I mean, geez, uh, uh, if I were uh, one of the large investment bankers uh, in Wall Street that uh, helped uh, pile a whole bunch of money into some of these SPACs uh, through pipe financing, I'd be sending some of my boys uh, from head office over to their branch, over to their head office, have a little chat, have a, bring a cup of coffee with you. Uh, I'm going to stop at the Starbucks near your place. What, what's your favorite coffee? Oh, great! Let's get let's get two or three of the board members together. Let's let's have a chat. Let's just wear golf shirts. No no ties, no suits. Let's just wear golf shirts and hang out, and let's just have a little old friendly. Hey, how are you? What's going on? Kind of thing. And then after five or ten minutes, you know, you listen to what they have to say, and then it's your turn to kind of say, "Well, the reason we flew down here from New York." Was we just wanted to fill you in on kind of what you know what we're talking about and what we're hearing, but here here's what we're not able to talk about, and then tell them what you're not able to talk about the success of the future success of your company. We're having trouble with the future success of your company, and there are analysts out there at other brokerage houses who are writing so so reports about you guys. I think there's ways that you can uh, get much better reports written about you guys if you were to maybe consider oh an investor relations department that knows what the hell they're doing. We have some candidates we could throw your way. We know some people that are really good at this that might be perfect for you guys. Because after all, don't you as owners of this company and operators of this company, don't you want your stock to go from like three bucks a share to $30 a share in the next couple of years? Wouldn't that be better for you personally and your family and your children and your grandchildren and your extended family and all your friends and relatives that bought the stock and everyone who's down on it right now, maybe, maybe, maybe it could be better. Uh, gee whiz, um, I, I would be in New York uh, sending teams of influencers to these guys to have a little heart-to-heart -heart chat about, hey, <laughs> we love you, but we don't love your stock price down here. Um, 23 and me at five bucks a share, not working out for us. We're not fans of this price range. I don't know if you guys like it. How does Richard Branson like the $5 price tag 
on uh, 23andMe. Is he happy about it? Because he bought personally $25 million worth of stock uh, when you created the whole thing. Uh, I, I can't imagine him being thrilled right now for his children and grandchildren that he owns a whack of your stock at what now five bucks a share maybe there's something we can do to you know spice things up a little bit like you know, like Rita Moreno you know like spice it up uh, come on do I have to do everything I mean geez uh, I'm just a 66 year old guy in a condo in Palm Desert California going guys what are you what aren't you doing like I know what you are doing, nothing. Uh, whatever it is you're doing is not working for the stock, okay? Let, let's cut to the quick. It's not working for the stock. So maybe something else has to be done. Uh, maybe in a change of direction, maybe a different way of releasing announcements, maybe a different schedule, uh, maybe something, something has to happen here. And um, I'm kind of wondering, uh, don't you think that your shareholders deserve better? than what they're getting. After all, you guys are cash rich. All of you SPACs are cash rich. You've all completed your deals. Congratulations. You've all gone through the SEC nightmare. Congratulations. The SEC changes rules, all that redemption of the warrant crap and all. You've done all that. You've done all that. You, you've survived all that. You, you hired the lawyers to get it all done and you paid millions in fees that you shouldn't have had to pay, but the SEC screwed you and you survived it. Got it. We, we're on side with you on this. We all believe the same, in the same thing about what the SEC has done to you. It's bullshit. We totally are on your side. Now, it's time to take the next step forward. And that means awareness. It's time for awareness here as to where are you? Where were you? Where are you going? And uh, let us in on the future. Give us a sign What's your roadmap look like in the next three, six, 12 months? What, 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 what's changed in the last year? How are you adapting with COVID? How are you got, how you're getting through it? How it's going to affect us? And, and you know, where, where are we headed? What's the, what's the kumbaya moment uh, that we're looking for? Uh, have you got one? Do you know of one? Uh, let, let us in on it. Give us a sign, a hint, an indication, somehow, somewhere, somewhere. I don't know how you do it, but there's ways to do it. And certainly reach out for help if you need the help. If your stock is underperforming, reach out to the Wall Street pros. Because this is all they do. This is all they do is they expose companies with tremendous upside potential. Um, help us out here, okay? Uh, we'd love to talk about your company and, and uh, spread the word. Omega failed to keep an eye out on AEO, expanding the business, looking to turn in to, into a shipper, ship via like UPS. There you go, there's there's a thought right there. You know, it's just, um, it's just a scenario where it's all about awareness. Uh, SoFi is, uh, uh, is building awareness uh, bit by bit, um, maybe we're not, we're, we're certainly not happy with the SoFi stock price of 14.18 a share right now, but we are aware that SoFi's awareness level has dramatically improved in the last 24, 48 hours and will continue to do so. We get it. We do know in the end we're going to be big winners as SoFi shareholders. But some of these other scenarios, we're, we're not so impressed and uh, we really need to. Uh, to see some more effort here. Uh, underperformers like uh, like 23andMe, Spire, ATIP. I will say though, ATIP is definitely improved dramatically in how they uh, get the word out. Uh, they've learned their lesson. Uh, but Smart Rent, uh, we're talking crickets here. Uh, Sextera, absolute crickets uh, over at Sextera. We, we have no idea about anything about anything over there and the stock yet is at 1089 up eight cents i mean it defies logic that uh, the company as quiet as sixtera is does as well as they do and a company as pr promotional and open about a like atip coming out saying hey we're hiring we're growing we're doing it their stock is underperforming I, I, go figure uh, but you know what atip in the end will be the winner because ATIP will continue to expose their, their situation and continue to come up with uh, press releases, continue to talk to us about how they're doing. 
and it will be it will be positive. But I'll tell you, there are days I wonder: Does anybody home? Is is anyone there? Um, if I ring the doorbell, will someone answer it? I kind of wonder uh, sometimes what just what's happening. Anyway, there you go. Welcome one, welcome all to the show. We will start trading in eight minutes uh, here. Um, 583 of you are here right now. Thank you all for joining me this morning. We have 319 thumbs ups already. Thank you for, for that. Uh, appreciate uh, uh, the 319 thumbs ups. If you're able to hit that button, do it and push this show a little harder to the uh, analytics uh, people over at YouTube and hopefully we will uh, grow this channel's following even faster. We thank you. If you've subscribed to this channel, I thank you. If you've become a uh, Chillin' with Uncle Bruce member, I thank you. If you've become a bagel, gold bagel member, thank you as well. Uh, we love the support and we're proud to have you here. Uh, nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, it's great to have you popping in and joining us. Uh, if you have any questions about the markets, do the best. Uh, I'll do the best I can to answer it for you, um, and we'll go from there. Um, and here we go. Um, a question from DJ. Uh, Hi, Uncle Bruce. I got a thousand so far, and I have fifty shares of Goldman Sachs. Uh, what would you recommend? Should I buy an additional fifty Goldman Sachs? or a thousand shares of SoFi, where do you think I should go? Um, well, you got two entities right there that are definitely fans. I'm a fan of both of these, as you plainly know. I love them both, and I love them for two specific reasons. Uh, one is, of course, a very mature Dow component company, uh, Goldman, and then there's the brand new up-and-comer SoFi. Can I compare the two? Very almost impossible to compare the two. They're in banking, yeah. They're in um, one is a you know an investment banker of renown. The other one is the up and comer. Um, you've got a stock in both. Great, um, happy about that. Um, but uh, I don't think this is an either or question. Um, I don't think it's an either or question. It it could well be that you may want to acquire a deep in the money call option on Goldman and you may want to acquire uh, options on SoFi. Uh, that might be the way to go um, rather than one or the other in just a stock side of things. Uh, both of these are, I think, poised to make you a lot of money. Um, and I think you could do really well with a deep in the money call on Goldman uh, where you'll be a writer of a poor man covered call. Um, you may eventually sell the 50 shares you have of Goldman to buy another deep in the money call or two. And maybe you'll have two, three or four deep, uh, deep in the money calls on Goldman that you're going to write multiple options against. On SoFi, you have a thousand shares now. Great. Uh, if you could pick off some uh, 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 contracts on SoFi that are in the $12.50 neighborhood, uh, the $15 neighborhood that are you know late this year, that would be the, maybe the way to go. Increase your leverage and eventually use those as poor man covered calls as well. That might be the way to do it. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Cindy, so happy to be here. Let's go Goldman. Let's go GameStop. Let's go ATIP Spire. I agree. I agree. Oh, man. Um, John uh, uh, Bickman, I, 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 I am all uh, the SPACs. Uh, just don't have enough or, or the right people in their investor relations departments not needed when you're a private company. You're public now and you owe your investors positive exposure. The, the investor relations department is supposed to be so important. Just to kind of give you a, a, a heads up as to you know how important is the investor relations department. The director of investor relations is supposed to have the private cell phone number of the chairman of the board, the CEO, the CFO, and the head legal team. Uh, in other words, this individual is almost a senior VP level person. This is a person that the top 10 people of the company, they have to have this person's number and this person has to have their number and has the, uh, the green light the absolute green light to contact any of those people 24 hours a day, seven days a week for whenever they want. 
There's none of this, oh, I can't call this guy until at least 9 o'clock Monday morning crap. No, 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 no. This is a person you can call at 9 o'clock Sunday night. This is a person you can call when Sunday night football is on and it's 4th and 15 for his favorite team. Um, and he's trying to, you know, trying to keep the drive alive before the game is over. The phone can ring at that moment, and this is the person that can do that. That is how important an investor relations head of investor relations is supposed to be for a public company. The head of investor relations should be a stockbroker, should be a former executive at a brokerage firm, should know all the nuances of the stock market should know all the players of who's who in the zoo in Wall Street, in Frankfurt, in London, in Hong Kong, Tokyo, Milan, anywhere there's a financial center. The head of investor relations can also contact top people at brokerage firms anytime they need to for just a chat on what, what, do you, what are you hearing about us? What are you hearing about this? What's the word on this? What's the word on that? This individual is a very busy person. This person has their pulse, their, their finger on the pulse of the market and the industry that they're involved with. That's how important this job is. If the head of investor relations for your public corporation is a former advertising executive, is a former um, uh, person that uh, maybe is related to the president of the company or is a friend of the family, uh, or is uh, somehow uh, 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 an associate uh, of, of one of the directors of the company and that's how they got the job, you got the wrong person in that position. This individual has to have autonomy and has to have the ability to call the CEO on a very regular basis. I would say that the CEO and the head of investor relations should be in daily contact with each other in person in the office, or at least through a text and phone calls constantly. Um, this individual, this, C, this top person who's in charge of the uh, investor relations department uh, should be able to literally almost walk into the office of the CEO almost at any time. Uh, the only time they wouldn't is if there's a private meeting going on in the office and then the, 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 as soon as the meeting's over, the assistant says to the CEO, so-and-so's looking for you. And instantly, that's the first contact that the CEO has. If the CEO does not look upon the head of the investor relations department as a key ally within that organization and they don't have a close working relationship, we have a disaster on our hands. We, we have a stock disaster on our hands. The chairman of the board of directors has to have a very close relationship with the head of investor relations as well. Absolutely. Board members have to have a close have to have a close relationship with this person. This person cannot be intimidated of being called into the board of, of directors for a, a quick update for the board of directors. Should not be intimidated whatsoever. Should be used to it should be absolutely used to it, should be granted access to the top echelon of this comp this organization. That's how important that job is. Uh, but when you find out that, oh yeah, well, the head of investor relations for company blah is the nephew or the niece of so-and-so who's a large shareholder of the company, we don't have an effective department there. We, we've got a yes person here. We just have a, we have a runner. We, we just have, we have a, we have a snoop. Uh, someone who's snooping in on people's affairs and reporting back to a top shareholder. We don't have a promoter of the company. We don't have an exposer, and someone who's exposing the corporation's reason for existence to the street. You need a street person in there. You got to have an absolute street person who's over there who's not intimidated by the street itself. They know the street. They can understand the street. They can anticipate the market reaction not react to it only. That's how important this job is. Um, and if, if you don't have, uh, uh, if you don't have a, uh, an investor relationship partner with that kind of uh, reaction, a relationship, you're doomed. Your stock is doomed to failure. It, 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 it would only go up now on, uh, for other reasons. And it might be that the CEO is actually the head of investor relations, even though they have an investor relations department, the CEO is the person doing the investor relations. It shouldn't be that way, but 
I digress. I, I, I do what I can. Thank you, everybody, for popping in here. We're running. We're open. Let's get going here. Let's hope we make a ton of dough. Um, let's make some money. I know Larry has given us this right here. The bells have rung. We're up, we're running, and we're in business. So let's find out what's going on and uh, where are we headed today. All right, uh, there we go. We'll pop up our quotes and let's see what's going on. I've got Rocket Lab up 29 cents right now at 10.14. I'm showing SoFi at 14.10 up 39 cents. I've got GameStop at 109.14 right now. Uh, let's see. Ding, ding, ding. Here we go. Let's go. Uh, SoFi volume at 1408 uh, right now is 7.19 million. It's good. We like it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, can you do this romper room thing for us, please? Um, GameStop up 257. Matterport up 14 cents. Um, ME up six and a half cents. Spire is up, what, a penny? ATIP is up a nickel. Smart rent down two cents. Sixtero down seven. AMC is up 18 cents. Uh, Robinhood up 28. Uh, Vanek Vectors is up 218. Home Depot up a buck 20. IBM up nine cents. Dow Jones up 184 dollars, uh, 184 points. Uh, we've got uh, S and P up 24 something like that. Uh, hang on a second. I'm just gonna correct and update my big ass iPad. 188 on the Dow. We're up 29 on S&P and we're up 162 on NASDAQ. NASDAQ is up 1.1%, whereas the Dow's up 0.54, S&P up 0.66. Oil down 22 cents. Microsoft up 541 to 308. Apple's up $1.29 to 167.50. Goldman up 75 cents at Bargoon territory here, 348. Cisco up 34 cents. Facebook up 620. Amazon up $16. Tesla up 8. Google up $21. Blackberry's up 56 cents. Sorry, Blackberry up 22 cents. Uh, Black Bed Bath Beyond up 56 cents. Um, other than that, um, JP Morgan up 12 cents. Costco up a buck 70. Uh, not a lot else yet happening. Watching lots of activity on this market right now. Green all over the place. The question is, how solid? Is this green move? Uh, SoFi now up a dollar one to 1470. Just showed for a moment um, of 108.24 on GameStop up a dollar 67. Watching SoFi closely, can we break out of the 14 and get into the 15, 16 neighborhood and really get this thing rolling? That is the question. Volume on SoFi now 12.4 million shares. Uh, it's about time to get a breakout on your SoFi. Time to go. Um, let's see what else is going on here. Um, SoFi, 14.50 up 80 cents. High of the day already, 14.81. Um, good to see that. Uh, Dow up 185. S&P up 29. NASDAQ up 172. Rocket Lab at 10.20 up 35 cents. GameStop up 188. Matterport now at 12.22 up 31 cents. ME up 14 to 4.95. Spire is up only one penny. ATIP is up four and a half cents. Smart Rent now up 22 cents to 7.70 a share. Got Sextera up uh, down seven cents. Austin is saying good morning, everybody. I'm thumbs up number 355. Thank you, everybody. We're gonna hit 400 thumbs ups. Very quickly this morning, thank you all. Let's go for some thumbs ups movement. Thank you. Uh, let's see, where are we going, baby? We're watching a lot of stock happening here, a lot of trading going on. Uh, back to our friends at SoFi, 1447 to 1449, up about 75 cents. And uh, we're pushing volume on SoFi now of 13.8 million. A very good breakout of volume here. The stock is getting exposed to a whole bunch of investors. Do not be surprised if large institutional investors will just be coming in here and nibbling it all up and taking it out in, in hundreds of thousands of share blocks, left, right, and center. This stock isn't coming back. It's not for sale 15 cents higher. Once it's bought, it's gone. Uh, there is a lot of day trading going on on SoFi, of course, because of the liquidity. Tons of day trading going on where people are buying 5,000 shares for 1440, selling them for 1443, buying them at 1442, selling them at 1446, selling them at 1448, buying them at 1442, trying to do nickel three, four, five cent trades on 5,000 shares at a time. Yeah, there's all kinds of them trying to do this, but there are also, I think, buyers coming in here 
gobbling up blocks of SoFi and just putting it away. And it's not available for a nickel hire or a dollar hire. It's going to be gone for quite some time. That's my opinion. That's my thought. Let's see what's going on. Um, fun times. Uncle Bruce, did you see the Noto interview last night? Analyst seems upbeat. I've heard nothing but positive uh, reactions to the Noto, uh, to, to whatever Noto has been doing. A a anything he's been talking about has been positive, positive, positive. Very upbeat. Uh, analysts are absolutely in his corner. Um, they are completely uh, sold on the uh, notion of the bar the charter changing everything forever on SoFi. Um, no surprise to me. And he has had uh, plenty of time to practice his spiel because uh, he's been waiting like we have um, when this thing is going to go. Um, Cindy, Uncle Bruce, is there any rule of thumb on pricing the short in the poor man covered call? Uh, should I use my long strike price or use the break even of the strike price uh, plus cost of the long? Uh, no, uh, Cindy, um, whatever you paid for your long call is one one matter. And whatever you you know, whatever strike price it has is its own little story. On the other side, you're writing short-term cover calls against that call. You're, so you have to now obviously deal with the market price of the security. My major uh, uh, caution is to say that if you're going to write on, say, Goldman Sachs, you're going to write poor man covered calls, um, you may have bought Goldman Sachs uh, calls, deep in the money calls, you might have bought 330s when the stock was 380 or 390. Now the stock's at 347 and you're wondering, oh wow, only $17 in the money on this call. Should I write poor man covered calls against them? Well, you, you can, of course, but I would be ahead of the market with some, you know, some room here. Um, you'll get a lower premium, but you don't want to get caught where the stock has a, a quick uptick and now you're dealing with a contract that's now in the money that you don't want to be in the money. The stock's 347.35 right now. If you're going to write 350 calls against Goldman, you might be writing 350s that expire tomorrow. Um, but if you want to write contracts for next week, Friday, you might need to write 360s. Um, you want to write contracts for the Friday after that, you might write 360s or 365s or 370s. Um, keep in mind that the further out you go, the more premium you'll get but the longer you're going to have to wait for a depreciation of that premium. On the other hand, uh, if the shares, uh, you're writing 360 contracts and the stock goes from 347 to 355 in the next week, good news, your deep in the money contract is $8 more valuable. Great. Bad news, uh, the call you wrote might still be at the same price that you wrote it at because the stock has gone up and is coming up towards your strike price on your contract. Of course, a week goes by, another four or five days after that goes by, and the stock doesn't keep on going, that contract years will depreciate quickly, and you've got the re you've got the return. You can always buy back a call if you don't feel it's the right call that you've written. You write a 160, a 360 call on Goldman for three weeks out. The stock was up to 355 next week, and the call is at the same price you sold it for. You can always buy that call back on a break even, enjoy the $8 gain on your uh, old con in the, in the money contract, and now write a 365 uh, or 370 for three weeks out. I mean, just pull the string. You can always play this game. Uh, you're the one in charge. It's your casino. You call the shots. So there's no, there's no rule of thumb <clears throat> as to what price to write your poor man covered call at. There is none. It's your call. It's your decision where you think the stock is going from where it is now in the next day, week, month, whatever you're doing. That's, I hope I've answered that question okay for you. Ooh, Noda was great on Kramer last night. He was, um, and uh, did anyone watch Gensler interview afterwards? He was negative on SPACs, very negative on crypto. Uh, that's why I'm not recommending any new SPACs to you guys. I can't recommend a single SPAC to you because Gensler is on the warpath. Um, I'm so happy that the companies we follow used to be SPACs. They're not SPACs anymore. They're past that, and Gensler won't touch them now because they've gone through that whole hellhole of his that he put together, and including the group prior to him because it was pretty tough going there all last year. Uh, what else is going on here? Uh, let's go in, going on. And Matterport is starting to act like an adult uh, Hey, Bruce, what do you think of uh, August 19? 
$2 Spire calls. They're going for 50 cents right now. Spire, $2 calls. Uh, that is book value, so I don't have a problem with those. Um, you know, it's a cheap, a cheap gamble. Sure, uh, you know, up to you, 50 bucks a contract or so. Uh, let's go. I'm rolling. Let's have a great day, everybody. We're up 30 cents on Ro Rocket Lab. We're up 84 now on SoFi to 14.55. GameStop up 264 to 109.21. Matterport is up 14 cents to 12.05. We've got ME up 23 cents to 504. Spires up a nickel to 243. ATIP down a dime to 363. Smart Rent up 39 cents to 7. 87 six era unchanged amc is up 27 cents robin hood up 27 cents vanic down 20 cents home depot up 31 cents ibm down 24 cents the dow is up 170 right now microsoft up 581 apple up 169 uh goldman up 57 cents cisco up 24 facebook up 6 89 amazon up 28 dollars tesla up 23 dollars google up 34 dollars it's a green day all over the place with very few red, red arrows showing uh, here or there. Um, the Dow is up at 184, S&P up 31, NASDAQ up 190. The NASDAQ is up 1.33%. Very, very good. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, we got S&P up 33 points, which is 0.74, and the Dow up 200 points, up 5.8%, 0.58%. So that is a very good start to the day, very strong, and it looks to be getting stronger. Good news, and it's affecting absolutely all of our stocks right off the hop here. SoFi now up 87 cents to 14.58. Volume on SoFi, 20,600,000, the high of the day, 1481 that is 24 cents away from here the low 1401 who was the idiot that sold it down there i just have no mercy for those people none uh what can i say um let's go what else is going on um yeah genzer is talking to us about protecting us on SPACs. what a nice guy uh crazy crazy uh let's see um do, 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 do. Yeah, 20 million in volume in the first 15 minute, uh, minutes. Uchi mama, there you go. Uh, let's go. What else is going on? Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> yes, Austin, I had an extra cup of coffee this morning. Please disregard what comes out of my keyboard for the next hour. I'm all wi wired up. I'm all caffeined up here. 1459, up 88 now on SoFi. 1462, 20 cents away from the high of the day on SoFi. Rocket Lab 1007 up 22. Uh, GameStop at 108.76 up two. I'm happy with GameStop up two bucks, but I'm not satisfied. This is a dead cat move on GameStop. I need GameStop up 12 bucks today. I need it at 120. You got to show me that this was the bottom yesterday. Show me, because uh, right now you're not showing me anything. You're showing me a, a heartbreak happening on GameStop if this doesn't keep going. I'm uh, I'm not happy with this price. Uh, volume 186,000. There is no conviction on that GameStop stock right now at 108. There is no wave of confidence coming into that stock at 108.96, which is telling me we could be lower rather than higher on GameStop. It's telling me that. I'm hoping I'm wrong, but that's what it's showing me at the moment. Matterport, 11.96, up a nickel. ME, 503, up 22. Spire now up 4.5 cents. ATIP now down 8.5. Smart Rent up 40. 788, six era unchanged, 1081. So five, 1481. We're at the high of the day now, 1485, up 110, up 115 on 23.4 million. There is serious money coming into SoFi in a hurry. It's not coming in casually. It's not coming in, oh, let's try to buy 5,000 shares. Let's see what happens. No, these are market buy orders. There are huge market buy orders coming in on SoFi right now. They're not waiting for this afternoon to get in. They're, they want in now. Is it possible that there is a bunch of buying coming into SoFi because of short squeeze situations? Very possible. The higher the stock goes, the worse it gets for those who are short this stock. Uh, if you've shorted this thing at 1350 thinking, oh, you know, the bank charter, big deal. It was 
$12 the other day. It got to $13.70. I'm going to short the crap out of it here because I'm going to buy it back at $10 bucks next week because this bank thing is you know, just an announcement that will fade into the uh, ether and no one's going to talk about it next week. And now it's at 1473 to 1480 uh, with 20-plus volume. Uh, this is telling me, uh-uh, no, 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 no. This is not uh, going to 10 bucks a share. It's not going to 8 It is going to 20 25 or 30 um, And there might be some shorters going, I think I might be wrong on this. I might need to kind of reverse my position and get this stock back. And uh, there could well be brokers and or hedge funds out there telling their broker pals, you're short three million on this stuff. You're short three million shares. You might want to only be short a million. Uh, just kind of, you know, just mm, be mindful. Uh, let's see what happens. Like uh, like Elaine said to Kramer at the video store, if I were you, I'd be very, very careful. And uh, Kramer falls over. Fourteen sixty one uh, up ninety cents at this second. We're going to see twenty cent swings right now the volatility is in, increasing on SoFi volume 25 million here we go rocket lab 10 12 up 27 gamestop just a dollar 69 gain matterport down a nickel me up 19 spire up four and a half atip down eight smart rent now up 32 cents six terra unchanged ibm down 49 cents dow is up 202 s p up 36 and nasdaq up 210 1.47 percent gain on nasdaq still improving the dow up 0.61 s p up 0.82 those are some of the early indications of what we are watching here uh microsoft up eight bucks apple up 226 goldman up three dollars finally moving come on goldman let's go cisco up three cents a little recovery finally coming there Facebook up 675, Amazon up 29, Tesla up 28, Google up 36. The FANG stocks are on the move today, definitely on the move today, as evidenced by the NASDAQ up 200 points. All right. Fun, fun, fun. I want more coffee, says DQ. Uh, Bailey sounds good too, says Duncan. Um, are we thinking 15 for SoFi? I'm thinking 17 for SoFi. I don't think 15 is the price. I'm thinking we might see 17 today. We break through 15 here. Uh, we, we we could add another dollar right behind it. Um, we're going through some technical resistance here that is just going to wipe this resistance out, and we will gap three dollars a share. 17 is doable. Uh, we'll see. A SoFi is a 10% short float reported by Fins, but that's like 60, 80 million shares. Interesting uh, for that. All right. Um, okay, says Scott. It's time for a meeting. I just made a cool 550 dollars on a Goldman Sachs, poor man covered call. I'll catch you all next time. Thanks, Uncle B. There you go. There you go. Well done, Scott Brewer. About $1 billion in shorts. Figure about 70 million shares shorted at $1,450. Of course, not all of them at $1,450. Uncle Bruce, not the time to write covered calls on SoFi, I assume. Uh-uh, you don't want to be doing that. Um, and uh, Uncle Bruce, this is beginning to be the volume that was uh, that you were talking to us about on SoFi. Uh, I'm sitting back with my hands folded. Uh, yeah, Mark, you know, we're finally beginning to see some real volume on SoFi. Uh, 26 plus million now here in what, uh, 19 minutes? Yeah, we're, we're getting, it's the real deal. Uh, you know, 26 million at 14 bucks a share, do the math. That's a ton of money coming into the stock. Uh, you're a shorter? I would be nervous uh, with this kind of power. Remember, AMC went from 10 12 14 dollars a share to 72 dollars a share in like a week week and a half 500 million shares a day for like 10 straight days sofi only did 180 million yesterday uh it is the talk of wall street bets it is the stock being talked about on reddit and these guys are right the folks who are talking about this stock and talking it up to 20 25 30 a share they're right they're absolutely nailing it. This thing at 1475 is a joke down here. This is ridiculous. This is the opportunity that's just screaming, get me, buy me while you can. I'm, I'm amazed anyone is selling it at 1470. I, I cannot understand the mentality that anyone would want to sell SoFi at 1470. Now, what happened in the last 48 hours? You got to be kidding me. Uh, I can understand you dumping it at 24. Yeah, I gotta get it. You know, it's near its high and 
it's had a run again and you know okay i bought it at 16 and i'm selling at 24. but selling at 1470 aggressively selling at this price with the bank charter in hand and the street i mean the whole street is talking about this stock this isn't a meme stock only this is being talked about on cnbc at fox business cnn business New York Times, Washington, but it's all business sections are talking SoFi and will continue to talk SoFi now. Why would anyone sell at 1482? You got to be out of your mind to give this thing up. But guys, I'm not a broker anymore. Uh, so, you know, I don't have 200 clients sitting on this stock. Um, I got viewers here, 658 of you watching it. I don't know if you're selling it or not. I sure hope you're not selling it right now. Oh my gosh, 1484, we're at the high of the day again. 28 million shares traded. I, I don't know how much more obvious it is to anyone on the outside with any kind of market following. Uh, a stock that's traded 28 million in uh, in uh, 22 minutes. Uh, it's up a dollar 12 to 1483. Uh, I, I, I don't know what more of a siren you need <laughs> to say. Don't sell this stock now. Are you nuts? Uh, but I, I, I'm just just a guy who's supposed to be on the radio, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there it is. Thank you for being here today. It's nice to see you all. Welcome to Thursday. Um, yeah, I've hit 16. It'll easily go to 17. Yep. I think we just got to get through 15. I think that's the resistance level. Through 15 bucks, we're on our way to 17.50. And then through that, we're at 20. Uh, we're, we're on our way. This is the last of the resistance level here. Uh, and then we're gone. We're gone, baby, gone. Uh, let's see here. What else is going on? Thank you, all of you who are here. Uh, SoFi is the number one mentioned stock on Wall Street Bets. There you have it. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, the only issue with short squeeze on SoFi was the short squeeze potential with AMC. Just too much float out there. And GameStop had nowhere near this float when it squeezed. GameStop was maybe 70 million share float. I, I, I get it. Um, but of course, uh, SoFi going into this run, uh, we've always had the 7,800 million outstanding. This is this is no surprise. Uh, 800 million in existence, 564 short, uh, uh, fl free float, uh, 63 million shorted. These have been the stats for weeks, months. This is no, this is not like, oh, we just found this out. No, this is the story. Um, but I think over half the stock that's out there is held by institutional investors and they're not selling this stuff. So. I'm going to bet you, I'll bet you the float is less than 200 million shares. And we did 180 million yesterday. That's a lot of turnover. And we're at what, almost 30 million now? More turnover. Watch out. This is, this is gone. This stock's drying out. 1489 right now. 1495 right now. New high, 30 million, 600,000. We're going to hit $15 a share any minute, any second. We're going to break through $15 a share. Get ready, kids. It's going to gap out. Uh, there's There might be a resistance level 15 for like a second, but it's going to be gobbled up. There'll be a buyer else buy it all. Uh, watch out. Uh, hard to believe I have my arms crossed. Smoking victory uh, banks, uh, charter cigars all the time now. Let's go, says Will. Let's go. I've got calls expiring tomorrow as well. 15s. I'm not selling them yet. Uh, Julie. Julia. How are you, Julia? Hi, all. Yesterday I gambled and I bought SoFi 1650 that expires tomorrow. I bought them for four cents. Do you think they'll go into the money? Also, I want to renew my membership. I can't find the link to the update my payment. Help, help, help. Um, well, you know, 1494, 1495 right now, the high of the day here, 1501. We've already broken through it. We're going to go through 15. Uh, we could reach 16 today or more. These calls of yours will likely reach 20, 30, 40 cents. If the stock breaks into 17, you're on your way to a dollar uh fabulous um how to renew your membership i think you need to be on a device that has windows and i think you need to go to your settings on your youtube channel and that's where you'll find your membership links and that's what i think it is julia some of somebody here may answer your plea for help uh that knows what they're talking about because i don't uh i have over ten thousand sofi shares with an average of 1323 says anthony so excited for the future but i have to admit i was so relieved that the uh, the charter announcement well I, I was not relieved i was like about damn time is what my reaction was 1508 right now 1509 on sofi 34 million volume we are going through millions of shares a minute right now uh we're on our way 1508 
right here. Watch for 10 and 20 cent swings like nobody's business. Here we go. Um, the Savior says that the top 10 Wall Street mentions for January the 20th in the pre-market were GameStop, Lucid, AMD, Tesla, Alibaba, Netflix, SoFi, Ma Ma Microsoft, uh, PLTR, and AMC. Uncle Bruce, I bought $20 calls for February the 25th just for fun. At $0.22 cents premium, I bought 10 Insider. I think you're going to make some money. You've got February calls. I think you're going to have fun here. Um, sit back and relax. Uh, I'm not going to sell this stuff until we hit 100 bucks, says Mark. And you might be the wisest guy here. Um, Mikey, um, how much good news does Matterport need to get a decent bump? Uh, announces 21 new cities that will use their capture services. Can't hold a gain. Uh, we are up eight, but I agree. This is not the first time they've made this announcement. They keep adding cities to this list. Uh, but one of these days, um, the stock will go back to 37 again, and it'll be quick. What can I tell you? A Rocket Lab up 22. SoFi 14.97 to 14.99, up a dollar 26, dollar 29. GameStop up 4.93. Go GameStop, go 111.50. Matterport 12 bucks up nine. Me up 30 cents to 5.12. Spire up. Eight cents to two forty six. ATIP uh, down seven to three sixty six. Smart Rent up thirty two to seven eighty. Sextera is up nine cents to ten ninety. Finally getting off its duff and moving. AMC up eighty cents to nineteen twelve. Robinhood up sixty two. Vanek up a dollar thirty six. Home Depot up one thirty three. IBM up thirty seven cents to one thirty one ninety five. The Dow now up three hundred and fifty points. Are you getting the message? We're moving today. Uh, it's moving day. We're up 49 on S&P and NASDAQ up 229. The market is climbing. This is good to see. The Dow's up 1.6%. S&P up 1.1%. The Dow up 0.99. Yes, it is a uniform up move. There is serious money moving in here. Getting very, very interesting. All right, uh, lots of fun. Microsoft up 750, Apple up 260. Goldman up six bucks. Hello, three fifty-three. Cisco up thirty-two cents. Facebook up seven dollars. Amazon up twenty-seven. Tesla up twenty-seven. Google up thirty-nine dollars a share. All right, let's rock. Let's roll. Time to go higher. Um, don't worry about the SoFi. It hasn't topped out yet. It just got through fifteen. Now a little bit of selling coming in, and then there'll be another wave, and it'll go higher yet, as far as I can sense. 37.2 million volume on SoFi. Wow. Um, say goodbye to the 13s and 14s. Here we come, 15s and 16s and 17s. Get ready, kids. We're on the move. Nice to see GameStop up 540 a share. I sure hope it gives us a little more gas. I want another eight bucks. 120. Give me 120. I want to see a bottom here. I want to see a real return to uh, some some better stable market. On GameStop, Matterport 11.96 and ME at 5.07. Let's go. All right. Uh, Dave is thinking that SoFi and AMC have too much of a float uh, for a big short squeeze. Uh, GameStop only about 10% of their outstanding float, 80 million versus 800 million, just a couple of zeros. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. What else is being talked about here? Uh, doesn't SoFi show the power of day traders? Um, and uh, let's go. $15 resistance, let's see how it works. Uh, 1491, speak of it into existence. Uh, 15 didn't even stop it. It went right through 15. We know that already. Uh, here we are. Look at that, it hit 15. Um, 1501, that's right. GameStop 112 says, who cares? Uh, GameStop up 5%. Uh, let's see. Um, 15, boom, says Daniel. How about that? Uh, looking at level two, there were 97,000 selling walls set up at 15. That just got removed. It's gone. There's nothing there. 1491, we're coming on again on SoFi. Here we go. Uh, let's go. Broke 15, says Papa Gamer. Uh, um, is Bruce going to hit 500? Thumbs ups in uh, in uh, two days in a row. I think we can do it. We're at 409 now, and it would sure be nice if we could get to 500 awful quick because then we can push six or 700 today, and that would be really good for this channel. Thank you, everybody. Um, I got uh, 1250 SoFi calls for July. 
going bananas right now. Go so far. About darn time, baby. Yep, Nacho, you're going to make money. Just sit back, cross your arms. Just fold your arms for 1501 again. Going to 17 here. Just another couple of bucks coming your way. Sit around and uh, get ready to use that contract uh, for um, poor man covered calls not too long from now. It's going to be fun. Ooh, we're going to have fun here. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Like but us, associates. Um, that's right. Uh, so glad I was wrong, says Daniel. Uh, there you go. Uh, where else? Uh, 10,000 SoFi shares checking in. Let's go, says Alexander. Yeah, baby. It's all good. 1505, 1508 right now. High of the day today uh, has been 1511. So we're pushing it again. SoFi volume now is showing me 39.5 million in 32 minutes. Uh, here we go. I'm praying that my January 2250 SoFi calls come back to life with a little bit of a heartbeat. Climb, you dirty dog. Climb, says Clay 180. <laughs> Well, we'll see, Clay. I, I like the fact that uh, they're moving, but uh, I don't like the fact that you have until tomorrow. I don't like that. Uh, let's go GameStop, says George. Uh, let's see. Um, they ain't got the SoFi ticker on the top of the stock wits at almost 9% gains, but have American Airlines scaling, uh, scrolling 3.4%. Nice uh, one ding dongs, not even trending and heavily traded stock. You know, you can't count on these guys. What can I say? Um, Wow, 34 million already. Holy moly, macaroni ripping. Uh, let's see. Uh, I also have a, a, a January 2115 that's now off the floor slightly, laughing out loud. Just made a quick 500 on SoFi calls. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, my portfolio is up 10%. I don't know what to do with myself. Uh, let's go. We're like a roller coaster. We're climbing and climbing and climbing. Just got a, now at 100 more SoFi shares. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, there you go. Don't look, but Spire's trying to go up too. It's up 11 cents to 249. Uh, we've got SoFi 1505 right now. High of the day is still showing. Now 1514. Now trading at 1512. We're going higher on your SoFi volume now. 40 million 800 thousand. Here we go, baby. We're going higher, a lot higher now. Uh, I just bought three SoFi 20 dollar calls for uh, Jan 1 2023. Don't you love me now, Uncle Bruce? Way to go, Frankie. Uh, let's see. I need 20 on that so far. Come on, man. Oh, boy. Uh, let's go. Uh, did you hear GameStop is getting into offering digital games a special pricing, says Dave. Uh, we're showing GameStop at 113.29, up $7. Go, GameStop. Let's go. I want to write, I want to see people write contracts higher up. Uh, earlier yesterday, I picked up so far 14 bucks for Friday. Run, baby, run. Uh, I love the lamp. It's fine. What lamp? Um, let's see. Um, SoFi higher than hood. What a surprise. Sextera over eleven dollars now. As Sextera is eleven oh six up twenty four. Smart rent up thirty five cents. ATIP is only down two and a half. We're up a dime on Spire. We're up twenty two on um, on ME Matterport up sixteen. And GameStop up six eighty nine. SoFi fifteen oh five to fifteen ten fifteen twelve. Rocket Lab up 27 cents. It's like a hot knife through soft butter. SoFi 15, it's gone. SoFi volume 26 million traded in the first 30 minutes. Uh, 10 grand for every dollar move. Got to feel good right on, says John to Alexander. I might uh, exercise this $10 SoFi call for Gen 23 and use those shares to write covered calls in a couple of months. I think having extra 100 shares will be more valuable long term than taking one fat profit. JW1511, hello and good morning, everybody from Joanne. Hello there, Joanne. Um, let's see. Rob, are you writing any covered calls on GameStop? Uh, Dave, I'm sitting on 12 and a half SoFi calls for 715 uh, at 373. Let's go. GameStop, 113.32 up 675. 15.07 on SoFi up 137. Go, SoFi, go. Volume 42.4 million in 35 minutes uh yes uh, it's running past 15. you are my anchor says cheddar uh, to socius uh, hi there joanne from ntpc good morning good morning good morning welcome one welcome all to the following today uh thank you all of you who are here 680 of you nice to see you here this morning I'm trying to explain the markets in plain english and in plain english we're going up uh the dow is up 272 right now up 0.78 percent 
We got the S&P up 44 points. NASDAQ is up 223, up one and a half percentage points. The NASDAQ has been leading the market all day so far in the pre-market and now in trading. This uh, market, the NASDAQ with the FANG stocks is really running. There are whisper rumors happening right now all morning that the four potential interest rate hikes might only become two. Uh, Fed speak might be coming out next week with a softer tone. Uh, they're a bit uh, concerned about the uh, uh, claims on unemployment. They're also watching supply chain issues seem to be easing up. They notice that the inflation might be just easing up a little bit here. No need for four rate increases. They've talked it up. Uh, now they've talked it off. We might only see two. The market is reacting already with a shift. We might be seeing a shift away from uh, uh, low PE multiple stocks back over to growth because growth is delivering revenues. Um, we'll watch for that. 230 point gain on the on the Nasdaq right now. All right. Hey guys, smart rent call option 750 going for a dollar is expiring. Going for one dollar expiring March 18. I'm losing, but you can gain. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I need Gamblers Anonymous, says uh, Sextel. I need Gamblers Anonymous. Uh, we're at 1505 to 15, uh, roughly 1503, 1505 on uh, SoFi. Up $1.32 now. Uh, volume 43.8 million. Uh, we're exceeding yesterday's volume, I believe. Um, and Aspire Night right now, 248 a share, up 10, bu uh, 10 cents on 102,000. We have no volume on Spire to speak of because there is nothing available for Spire to be bought. It is cleaned out. Um, a million shares of buying in one hour on Spire would pop this to 350 a share easily. Uh, we just have to see if the buying is going to come in. Spire is up a dime on very light volume. ATIP down four cents on 348,000. Bottomed out at 362, now 369 coming on again. Uh, we're up 47 cents on smart rent, 795 now. This is the high of the day on 28,000 shares. Same thing with smart rent. It's been wiped out. The stock that wanted out got out. There's nothing left to buy. We just need a buy wave to pull it back to the $10 mark. Six stair up at 1116, up 35 cents. Volume, 18,700. Again, the same pattern everywhere. The selling has come and gone. There is no follow-up selling. There is nothing available down here. And now buyers are getting antsy going, well, I was looking for deals. I, I wanted to load up on these cheap prices. I can't get it. And uh, they're not going to get cheap prices. The stock has evaporated out. It's gone. So far, 1506 easily could go to 17 today. Easily could do this. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's go, baby. Um, what is happening? Um, mm, 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 mm. I've been writing GameStop calls every morning this week, buying uh, back same day. But you were so adamant at last night's show to not write. So today I didn't. Thank you, says Kent. Uh, good move. Uh, 114.11. We're going higher. Let the stock go up to this 115.20 neighborhood. Uh, show me. Uh, Show me GameStop. What do you got? Uh, 641,000. We have had a half a million of volume come in the last 15 minutes. Finally, I'm seeing some buying on GameStop. Now, it could be that there have been a whole bunch of people on the sidelines waiting to pounce into GameStop to buy it if it would show a sign of, uh, of a bottoming. If this truly has happened with the 104 yesterday being kind of the confirmation that we're done, there's nothing else coming in here. We now have had a half a million shares of buying power come in here and pop it to seven, up to eight bucks now, 114.63. It is entirely possible that GameStop could break 120 today. Easily possible. We all know it can go up 20 bucks in a day. It's, it's a nothing burger for this stock. We just haven't had a $20 gain in a long, long time. So be wary of offering call options at the moment. Let the stock take its run and exercise itself, spread its wings, spread its wings a little bit. Get back into this uh, 120 neighborhood, 125 neighborhood, and then take a look at writing calls for tomorrow at 125, 130, or for next week, Friday, 125, 130. If the premiums are there, take a look at them. There you go. Uh, wahoo. Uh, let's see. I'm glad I bought back those SoFi 1550s yesterday, says Michael. Oh, man. Whew. 
what can I say? Um, what can I say? Uh, let's see. Um, wrote a leap on some of my GameStop shares a couple of months ago for just over ten thousand dollars. I bought back for thirty four hundred bucks, loving the almost seven thousand in profit. Nice going, Mister Seneca. Uh, why can't the charts always look like SoFi's? Uh, we're at forty five point seven million volume in forty minutes. Uh, SoFi fifteen eighteen now new high fifteen twenty right now new highs. 47.4 million new highs on SoFi. We're going higher. My 20 and $22 SoFi calls are still worth a penny. I think I think I I think I can't. Um, let's go. Looks like all the tax harvesters, 30 days are up to jump back in. If you sh sold your stock for tax losses right up till December now the 18th, you can buy them back because it's January the 20th. Every day that goes by. All those sales can be reestablished as new buys. The Dow's up 267, S&P up 44, NASDAQ up 224. We might be through the worst of it. We believe in you, SoFi, says Daddy. Oh, my gosh, let's go. Um, SoFi being discussed on Yahoo Finance, 1531 on SoFi, up $1.60. The higher it goes, the further it'll go, and the faster it will climb. Um, 48.5 million on SoFi. 1530 on the stock uh putting the 15s in the money now the 1250s in the money now we're looking for the next series of contracts to go into the money uh yes the money arthur the money there are january 15s 1550s 16s 1650s these are all expiring tomorrow 17s, 1750s, 18s, 1850s, 19s, 1950s, 20s, 2020s, 50s, 21s, 22s, 2250s, 23s, 24s, 25s, and 30s and 35s. Those are all the contracts dying tomorrow. Next week, Friday, uh, we have for the 28th, we got 14s, 1450s, 15s, 1550s, 16s, 1650s, 17s, 1750s, 18s, 1850s, 19s. 1950s, 20s, 2050s, 21s, 2150s, 22s, 23s, 24s, 25s, 26, and 30s all next week. They're all moving higher right now. 1537 on your SoFi, new high of the day. For February, we have February the 4th from 14s, 1450s, 15s, 1550s, 16s, 16 and a half, 17s, 1750s, 18s, 1850s, 19s, 1950s, 20s, 2050s, 21, 2150s, 22s, 23s, 24s, 25s, 26s, 27s, 28s. We've got all kinds of contracts you can play with all into next week, the week after that, the week after that. February the 11th, we got all kinds of them. February the 18th, we have 15s, 1750s, and 20s. February the 25th, we have 1450s, 15s, 1550s, 16, 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half, 18s, and so on. Tons of excitement. 1541 on SoFi. New high of the day right now. Volume 51 million. Here we go. We're going higher. Goodbye, 14s. We're gone. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, who was selling at 1410 this morning? Who was the idiot? that sold at 1410 who sold at 1420 who was stupid enough to sell at 1430 this morning what what are you doing are you nuts you're nuts um you're nuts anyone that finally dumped any of the other junk here buy sofi good job um you know what i believe in my sofi january 21 1550s calls i bought them at 24 cents uh 1536 you're 14 cents out of the money how about that Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? Good point. Austin is saying, I hadn't thought about that uh, wash sale timeline from December. All the tax loss selling up until the 17th, 18th, 19th, that's all past 31 days now. You can buy back your stock, and that might be what's going on right here on all kinds of this stuff. Interesting. Um, Associates is saying, Uncle Bruce, I think I got lucky when I decided to reposition myself and sell off my Rocket Lab at a 20% Roth loss, shove everything into SoFi except for my 50 game stop. How about that? Uh, SoFi is officially green in my account. The only green I got, says Austin, got six more shares of SoFi, says Munamu. Dave, big three coming to a plateau. Are we just fueling here? Uh, go SoFi, says Michael. Whoever sells SoFi sub 30 needs to stop trading and take Uncle Bruce's courses. Uh, Oh, my green, how I have missed you, says Joe. Um, I sold my SoFi up 1308 to buy 10 
2023 leaps. Yeah, I did. Uh, Bitcoin, yep, people returning to the market, plus the retirement investments start to kick in, I think. All kinds of reasons why these markets are running here. Um, uh, what else is going on? We've got the Dow up 305. We have uh, S&P up 47. We have the NASDAQ up 224. SoFi 1538 right now. The volume on uh, SoFi, I'm showing at 53.1 million. Uh, and I could be inaccurate on that. Rocket Lab up 25 cents to 1010. GameStop at 112.91 up 6.34. Matterport 12.08 up 17 cents. ME at 4.94 up 13 and a half. Spire up nine and a half cents to 2.47. ATIP down five and a half cents. Smart Rent up 49 cents to 7.97. Sextera 11.14 up 34 cents. Smart Rent is near the high of the day of eight dollars on 89 thousand shares there is nothing for sale sextera volume 19,400 shares up 34 cents to 1114 all-time high 1279 interesting how thin this is unbelievable um atip volume at 368 now 374,000 shares spire volume at 247 124,000 just nothing there there's just nothing there um, ME at 495 volume this morning, 490,000, uh, backing off from its high the day, but still a bargoon. Matterport volume at 1207 now, 2.4 million. Uh, GameStop volume at 112.30, 753,000, a little better. SoFi now at 1543, uh, high of the day again. 54.3 million shares on SoFi. Rocket Lab at 1015, volume 337,000. So it's all SoFi, SoFi all the time. Uh, Cheddar Stack, Socius, you didn't get lucky. You finally wised up. Uh, let's see. Uh, Socius, uh, Cheddar Stacks, how are they doing? Uh, Cheddar up 33%. Um, let's go. Oh, hi, Jen. Um, SoFi coming up to 55 million volume, says Will Carruthers. And uh, let's go. Um, Dr. Daddy, 90% uh, gain on my SoFi. You only live once calls and climbing. Um, Credit Savage SoFi is now moving a bit more violently. Come on, SoFi, let's get going to 17. Let's go. My $30 February 18 calls need some love. <laughs> Dave, so if I can't stop here, if it plateaus, we're in trouble. So I think uh, keep on going, says Dave. Keep going, says Dave. SoFi, 1533 to 35, up 162, and we're rocking and rolling. Jen, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm I'm expecting this kind of thing after all of the good news that was on the big stations yesterday. You bet. You bet. Uh, more positive vibes this morning, and we busted through 15 like it wasn't even there. Uh, people are worried that, oh, we're not even going to get 15. Are we going to break it? Are we going to break yeah, it? Yeah. 1540 already, 1547 for the high of the day now as we are climbing uh, quite nicely. Uh, volume now on SoFi, 56 million, 56 mil. Well, yeah, in, coming uh, up to that time of year where you're going to hear a lot, SoFi, SoFi, SoFi. You're going to see a lot of SoFi commercials, which I'm seeing already. Yep. Uh, Super Bowl at Super SoFi Bowl. Stadium. And, and like SoFi Bank commercials. <laughs> SoFi Bank commercials everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, we're going higher. Uh, British Shilling is saying, today's stream so far reminds me of a year ago when I showed up. Happy times. <laughs> now long on Bruce. Um, uh, Austin is saying, crazy CNBC exposure is almost more important than than uh, the BC. Um, Uncle Bruce right. might be onto something with a good investor relations department. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, Chris Savage. Um, uh, so by finally moving nicely, I hope it's not a dead that cat bounce. Does this mean I'll be drinking before 10 a.m.? <laughs> uh, Dave D's 1550 to 16 needs to break. Uh, Ghost Whisper Smart Rent uh, need no volume to move. It's true. Um, Laugh Out Loud says Cheddar Stack. I didn't think these 15s would be in the money. I didn't think it would happen. 1535, 1543 now. 1545. Five on SoFi. This is new highs uh, coming 46. here. We're moving 49. higher quickly, uh, quickly. 1552 for the high, 1548 right now. Volume 57, 58 million at least. Uh, we are flying here. We're going to go to 1617 today. Green, 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 green. We might have a five dollar day today. We might. We're up 175. Might have a five dollar game today. You never know. This thing can break away. Uh, it's gapping. It's just gapping out. 
that I tell you. Oh, boy. Is this what? Uh, Uncle Bruce, what are your thoughts on GameStop covered calls? Not yet. 111.34. I want to see this thing at 120. GameStop is up today. We did touch 115, but I want to see 120 today. you got to show me that this is not just a little $5, $10 move. I want 15 20 bucks. Uh, volume. That volume, 800000 It's better. We were only at 100000 in the first 15 minutes, but now 800000 But I want to see a run. And I want to see this thing show me. You, you really show me something. Fifteen forty-four on SoFi. Um, uh, laugh out loud. This is not a dead cat bounce, says Cheddar. I am not being mean, but come on, it ain't a dead <laughs> cat bounce. Come on, Jen. Good morning I'm from Murray. John is saying good morning. <laughs> Dave D's. Here we go. Two hundred million yesterday is not a dead cat. That's a very lively cat. Um, Bama babe, I have ten. SoFi, 14.50 calls, uh, ending tomorrow. Uh, I am wiggling in my chair, <laughs> pounding the table. 15.41, well, at $17, uh, Bama Babe, uh, you got yourself a 250 contract. Yeah, baby, uh, get ready. Uh, it could be higher than that. Let's see what's going on here. Um, <laughs> Noto is legit, too. I see nothing bad about SoFi, says Michael. Exactly. Good morning, Jen from Duncan. Dave D's, does SoFi diverge from the market and can you continue up or does it follow down? This stock is going to keep on going. The Dow be damned. It went up yesterday with the Dow down 360 points. Made no difference to SoFi. It went up anyway. Uh, cheddar. It's going higher. Think about all the $15 calls that were bought last year for this Friday. Let's go. Uh, run, SoFi. Run, says Angela. Uh, Evan says, hit the thumbs up button for Bruce. Uh, Will, let's get the volume on the like button up. This guy is making us rich. I do what I can. I try so hard. Uh, we have 439 thumbs ups. I thank you for that. Also, an 11 month anniversary on this channel by uh, BW. Hey, buddy, thank you for uh, being an 11 month uh, member, Gold Bagel member now as what a well. Year, huh? What a year it's been. Uh, thank you, all of you who are uh, sending these alerts to me, uh, these anniversary alerts. YouTube allows you to do that, and I appreciate uh, letting us know that you're now a 10-month member, 11-month member, 8-month member, 5-month member, month whatever. 1-month member. member. I love it. Thank you all. 15, 34, 35 on SoFi. Uh, 10, 04 on Rocket Lab. We're up 19 cents. Uh, GameStop, 111, 19, up 460. Matterport, 11, 95, up 4. ME, 495, up 14. Spires up a dime to 248. Oh, wow. ATIP down 5 cents. Smart Rent up 44 cents. And Sextera up 31 again. To 1112. Go, baby, go. Run these markets. How are we doing on Goldman Sachs? It's at 353, up 618. Uh, 660, 665 is where I'm looking for. And then take a look at writing covered calls there against your contracts. Uh, go, man, go. Uh, the Dow up 263. Uh, SP up 41.8. NASDAQ up 199 points. There it is. Fun times. Woohoo! So what's it gonna be? I'm thinking grapefruit. I, I'm thinking about a grapefruit. You want, uh, you want a grapefruit? I'll start with the half. Oh, okay. The half first, and then maybe wait 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll do that bagel thing. With what? Uh, we get shmia, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe shmia. Okay. So I'll start with the one, and then no grapefruit first. Cool beans, man! Oh, exciting! What a day! What a day! Go, go, go. My viewers need to get richer. This is what we want to see. The viewers must get richer. Holy moly, can we the 18 today, says Nicholas. Um, uh, Austin, Michael, you're green now on SoFi, right? Uh, Gaiote, morning, Jen, Michael, Austin, uh, close, like uh, within a dime. Dave, okay, market stall, but SoFi is still going. Come on, I have hope now. Uh, Dave D's diverged from the market and launch. Uh, there you are, 1536. Looking good. Um, the Credit Savage says, I saw Anthony Noto interview with Kramer, and Noto is ex-NFL, ex-Goldman Sachs, ex-North Point, and a Special Forces guy. If you want a serious CEO uh, whose word means something, that's the guy uh, right there. He, wasn't he also ex-Twitter? Uh, I think he was also Twitter. He knows his stuff. Um uh, Clay, um, this Feb 22, um, uh, February 50, uh, February strike price SoFi, uh, I bought a half an hour ago for 121 or now 160. Uh, do I sell to close at the end of the day or this afternoon? Uh, you don't do anything, Clay. Sit on them for like a week. Sit on them for a week. Uh, stock's going to 2025, 
and you're going to make a nice little buck here. Uh, turn those into $10 bills. Then consider selling. But even then, don't sell them. Use them as poor man covered calls. Start writing call contracts at $27 against the uh, twelve, uh, the $15 call. You have to be well in the money. You got, you're just only starting to make money on this. Uh, don't give it away. Wow. Uh, you know what? A roach on a tree says, I had to go do my job for a bit. I come back to the mid-15s. What? Well, let's go. So far, let's go. This is easy. Yeah, I'm good, says Michael. Uh, Clay, I'm not used to profiting this fast after these past few weeks. Um, I didn't know all about that Tony uh, solid stuff. John, I have no idea what to do with a purchased call that's in the money. I don't know what to do. Dave, when's the next triple witcher? Uh, I don't know. Um, let's go SoFi to 18, Ratish. Uh, Ratish, I like your thoughts there. SoFi, 15, 25, 26. Um, we're going higher. Uh, this is not a one-day wonder stock at all. We have so much more to go on this thing. Uh, the Dow right now is up uh, 273 points. We're coming on again. S&P up 43, NASDAQ up 208. The NASDAQ's up 1.45%. S&P's up 0.96, and the Dow's up 0.78. Uh, Roach on a tree. So, Uncle Bruce, I'm also sitting on a $15 call that expires tomorrow. What would you watch for to know when to sell this thing? Um, watch this stock here. Um, we're now at 15, 36, 37 again. You're in the money now. Uh, don't be surprised if it breaks through 16, 17. You get into the 16, 17 neighborhood, you're in a position where you can sell this call, make a few, make some bucks, get some dough back on it, and then roll forward if you want and pick up a contract three, four months down the road, and maybe you'll pick off 16s or 17s. You want to keep playing this game, that would be the way to do it. Um, but uh, definitely today is your day to make your move. Uh, is next Friday triple witching? I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, the Credit Savage says, you should see his team at SoFi. These are all ringers from Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Goldman, and so on. They're all legit. Get ready, baby. Uh, Joanna's smiling. Um, Roach on a tree. SoFi, it's going higher. Uh, Goldman Sachs, too rich for me. Dave, I can't leverage enough even in options. Uh, Austin has Matterport found the bottom, maybe. 1202 up 11 again uh, maybe um my golden bagel is smoking uh, yeah moon moon matterport uh, down 50% in the past month maybe it's oversold um uh, yeah uh you know what cheddar uh, russell index was down 1.6% at the start of the day now it's 1% higher how do you feel about that uh clay a roach on a tree you have barely any time value right Keep an eye on SoFi today and look for your exit today or tomorrow morning. Gregory, glad to see the high volume continuing today. It keeps up like this for a week. We could see something big. Exactly. This is the real deal, people. There's money coming into this stock. 15, 30, 33 right now on SoFi. Volume now, 63.5 million. Um, we did 180 yesterday. Nice, nice. Uh, you know what? She takes such good care of you, Bruce. You're a lucky man. Yeah, 60 million volume in the first day, 100 million volume today at least. Yes, I'm certain about that. Um, I love Noto. He is the guy. And there's still a Super Bowl to be played too. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, a uh, long way to go, Socius. But as I said two weeks ago, the next market rally will be led by NASDAQ and you will need Russell 2000 to follow. Uh, let's see. Um, uh you know, credit average. Am I wrong for wanting Matterport to go under 10 so I can put the money I make from SoFi into Matterport? But I don't want them to both go at the same time. Yes, Noto is X Twitter told Jack what to do. Um, here we go. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, Ed Hawkins says, will that 20 to $25 be today or tomorrow on, on SoFi? I have some twenty two fifty expires expiring tomorrow. Could you get stuck 20 bucks by tomorrow, please? Uh, please uh, make a call, Bruce. Uh, B. Fitz, Bruce. So from selling some of my contracts ending tomorrow for SoFi, uh, let's see, for some of my contracts for SoFi, I have pooled enough money to afford new contracts for further out, only around 1000 total. But should I buy now for summer? Uh, yeah, I would be doing that for sure, B. Fitz. Yes, uh, Roach Energy says thanks. Um, Jenner Associates, Russell 2000, I'd like to see that 2600, 2800, a ways off still. Bonnie, I'm thumbs up number 500, Bruce. I'm thumbs ups number 500. Is that true? Are, are you really doing that? Uh, let me just get my refresh going. Is that really happening? I sure would like to think that. Oh, my gosh. We had 503 thumbs ups on this show, on this channel. Oh, man. Thank you, guys. 
505 now. That is awesome sauce. Uh, appreciate this so much. Thank you guys for coming in here with these thumbs ups. Hit that sucker. Let's go to 600 and uh, maybe even 700. Oh, that would be beautiful. I love it. Uh, that $4 level on ATIP is getting hard to break here. Uh, we just need a little breakout and we're on our way. I'm here. Come on. Uh, Spire up 14 and a half cents to 252. Get going, Spire. No dilly dallying. Let's move it. 159,000 volume. Let's go, Spire. Go higher. 1540 now on SoFi, up 172. 1542, the high today, 1552. Uh, volume 65 million. Yeah, it's going higher. It's going past 1550. It's going for 1617. That's what's going to happen here, kids. I think so. Um, Ed, uh, recently I bought those 2250s last year. Recently I picked up a lot more 12 and a halves for April. Way to go. Oh my God. Spire is up, says Suckstell. 15 cents, says John. It's moving. Uh, 253 up. 15 cents. It's going higher. Go, baby. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 506 thumbs up here. That There is no lamp. How many dislikes do you have, Bruce? I have no idea. It doesn't show it to me. I have to go deep in my analytics to find it. I haven't got time. Too busy watching stocks going up. Uh, good stuff, everybody. Um, I'm hungry, says Austin. Ooh, I got some. I got some grapefruit here. Um, thank you from. Uh, oh, thank you, Alberto, for this donation on uh, PayPal. Thank you for that. Um, I did. I did see another one this morning. I didn't have time to acknowledge them. Thank you guys uh, for these uh, these donations. Um, they they come in from time to time. Um, thank you, Miguel. Um, from Wingdale, New York. Thank you for your donation today on PayPal. Uh, so appreciate it. Uh, uh, absolutely beautiful. Oh, hang on a second. I've got to move my dang phone. I only have two hands. I need more than two hands. Uh, thank you, Alberto, for this donation. Uh, appreciate it, my man. Um, uh, from Boston Lake, New York. Thank you, man. Uh, appreciate that, too. Uh, very kind of you guys. I want you guys to make a ton of Oh, money, please. Uh, 532 thumbs ups and counting. They're coming in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> thanks to Adderall, says Coyote. I, I don't get hungry until like 6 p.m. <laughs> there are Chrome extensions that show the uh, the uh, dislikes. I see 16 right now. That's not too bad, I guess. Uh, people are happy with an up market, I suppose. So if I 1544, let's go. 1550, let's go. Lovely. 1550 on SoFi. Lovely, love it. Mm. <laughs> I swear, Uncle was, I thought the same thing. Let's create a prototype for two cyborg arms. So we have four hands we can use at the same time. I mean, come on. Grapefruit bagel. What did I miss? Well, no bagel. Oh, bagel's coming. But first we start with um, Texas red grapefruits. These are so good. Mm. Here's a comment, interesting comment. Um, NASDAQ will eventually overtake the Dow. Just too much money in tech which is why we're hitting it so hard. SoFi will be one of the top 10 techs in 10 years. Let's go. 1546, 1550 on SoFi. Volume now, 67.7 million. High today, 1552. We're right at that level here, right at this level right now. Thank you, guys. Tio, I had bought $15 leaps to expire 1, 2023 on SoFi. Let me ride or take profits. Just keep it going. Just let it ride. Just let it go. Let it go. It's going higher. Um, uh, it doesn't matter how low the markets go. I will never downvote Uncle Bruce. Thank you so much. Um, uh, days like today make me happy. I decided to get into the stock market. Crazy how a couple of really good days can make you forget all about the crappy days. Good morning, everybody from Deb Shannon. Hi, Deb. Uh, so far, new daily high, 1544, 1550. Let's go. Um, next move should be uh, to New Jersey in the summer, Bruce. Best bagels you can get and you can wake up later. Everyone's in love again. I'm liking it. Um, you're absolutely right, says uh, Cheddar. Socialist is Cheddar. Uh, Splare, 
I'm sure we break 16 today. We're going to break 16. Dave, the Mac guy, Uncle Bruce, if you were to buy ME Leaps, would you buy 2023 or 2024? I don't know the market, so I can't comment. Um, ME 499 up 18 cents. Spire is up 15 cents to 253. Matterport 1219 up 28. GameStop 109.95 up 338. Uh, uh, SoFi 1545 right now. Rocket Lab 1029. Uh, from where I bought a July 15 so far ten dollar call for 630 let's go uh, not bad it's a uh, only 90 cent premium that's all book value nice move from where anti uh, so you're telling me my buy order for 25 so far at 1399 isn't gonna get filled the uh, mmm uh, cheddar uh, the stock market is just a gauge of this chat rooms mood cheddar um, uh, uh, splitter in meetings today hit me with that TA on the SoFi chart uh let's go austin michael 50, 1650 shotguns we have to hit one of these days uh cheddar laugh out loud busy i mean i still don't like dumb sheet dumb sheet but it's more tolerable than when we're up uh let's go let's go let's go credit savage hey uncle bruce remember such a long time ago to last week when people were angry at you because sofi was dying and it was all your fault uh laugh out loud today your glorious oracle laughing out loud happens uh, you, you kind of got it you got to take it uh so it's just um really envious about the guy who had 10,000 so far shares bought at 1360 or something uh you talk about alexander there uh michael um have i ever said no uh, john um michael don't forget about the other shotgunner Coyote. um anti good morning i meant to re uh, reply earlier about stuck in a meeting getting grilled uh, no, not an oracle yet. Not an oracle yet. Wavy gravy. Um, it's true. I think the best thing I'm learning from being in this group over the past year is the emotional aspects of the market. Yes, uh, that is true. 1557 so far. New high right now. 1557s. Uh, 69.9 million volume. We're going. We're going. We're going. Uh, 1554 to 1558. We're running on so far. New highs. We're going for the high 15s now. Um, there are only 550 likes watching this homeless man eat a grapefruit. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Cheddar, um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, this is 80%. We're still moving for longer than these lines should appear. I don't know what that means. Uh, Austin, John, my fault. Uh, Michael, I'm green. Uh, 10,000 SoFi shares. That, that's it. I quit. Um, Splinter, uh, I'm... Uh, Soon, I mean, halfway done. So says Will. He needs to strip in order to get up to 1,000 thumbs ups. Why didn't I buy more SoFi? Um, so 1 p.m. rocket ride time. I bought back my $114 GameStop covered call um, uh, in the first hour before the spike. I'm ready to go again. Uh, Uncle Bruce, uh, good morning from Ben. Uh, I have been buying SoFi so much, and I am overweight on it disproportionately. Also, have about 30 deep in the money contracts. Taking money off the table is hard, but necessary. What price? We're going 15, 16, 17, could be today. Uh, we're just rocking here. 1553 right now. We're going higher and higher. Just kind of let it ride, Ben. It's way oversold. This is supposed to be 2025 already. We are behind on this. Uh, watch this run. Uh, let's go. Uh, what else happening? $16 is my average for SoFi. I'm getting close. Uh, let's go, Samuel. SoFi, let's go. Um, uh, Credit Savage, Uncle Bruce is right. The hardest part of having lots of stock is crossing your arms and becoming richer. Splare, I don't know what time it is near your cheddar, but if it's a 22 minutes, then so far I should pop for sure until then. I don't know what that means. Uh, let's see, British Shilling. Oh, I bought all the so far I could since IPOE. Thanks, Bruce. It, it is the most shares I've ever bought in one company. And uh, Gaiote, I'm not a rocket surgeon, you know. Uh, there you go. All right. Um, thank you, everybody. Um, enjoy the ride. We're going higher. 1559 on SoFi. I think that's the new high of the day. 60, 1560. Mm -hmm. 1564. 72 million volume. 72 million. Go, baby. Go, baby, go. Feels so good to win one. I forgot how it felt. Now, if only get Microsoft to hold about 310. Come on. Matterport is green. Go. Splare, we have 16, 1650, a resistance from the end of December. Maybe it dips and then 1 a.m. the rocket again. Oh, 17 would be so nice. I'm so mad my portfolio has been locked. No dry powder for weeks. Uh, SoFi is overweight, oversold. We're pounding the table. SoFi is going to 25 soon, buddy. It's going. 
Uh, Michael Austin, I wrote 1550s yesterday morning and a bottom back same day. Thankfully, I did that. I now have a position 100% so far. Thanks to leverage. Austin, Michael, you are a dangerous man. Uh, <laughs> 1557, 1560, um, high of the day, 1564, 72.7 million volume on SoFi. We're going higher. Um, the Dow's up 387, high of the day. We're up 58 points on S&P. NASDAQ up 262. We're climbing all over the place. Um, definitely moving higher. A Rocket Lab up 41 cents to 1026. GameStop up 429. Matterport up 42 to 1233. ME at 495 up 14 cents. Spire 254 up 16 and a half cents. Climbing. ATIP down one and a half cents. It's coming back. Smart rent up 48 cents. Sixtera up 38 cents to 1118. Go. 1554 on SoFi. Lovely. Uh, easy. $600 says Michael. Um, I'm not writing calls on SoFi. No, sir. Uh, wavy gravy. Michael, I bought those 15 and a half. Uh, Michael, I'll hold off for now. Uh, Papa Gamer, I got another 450 SoFi. Average under 19. Now I'm feeling better. Austin, Sixter is up as well, even though I hate Sixter. Uh, a sign, dear Uncle Bruce, the UBI is really turning around now. Um, up from the close yesterday of 808 to 856 now. Um, the, UBI, the UBI, the average price of SoFi, ME, ATIP, Spire, Matterport, Sixtera, Rocket Lab, Smart Rent. Go, baby, go. So we've gone from 808 to 856 on the UBI index, uh, the Uncle Bruce index. Nice. Come on, I need a miracle. SoFi, uh, Wavy Gravy is laughing out loud. SoFi, 15, 58, 15, 59. Those $15 contracts are in the money. The next batch are in the money, 1550s. The next batch to be in the money, 16s. Lovely. Lovely. Mm. Boy, Uncle Bruce, um, I sold seven $5 calls for December 23rd, and I took a premium of nine twenty dollars each. I'm getting, uh, was it worried? When is it time to cut bait? Uh, Paul, uh, did you write... Uh, you wrote calls on what's what? I don't know which one. That's not SoFi, uh, Paul. You got to help me here. What what stock are you talking about? Angela, we used to complain SoFi was too high to buy, but she gave us a chance to get on board. SoFi, look great long term, says Nicholas. Carol, thank you for the super sticker, twenty dollars super sticker. Thank you so much. You are famous for these, and I thank you very much uh, for your support of my channel. Uh, you are amazing. Thank you, Carol. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, fabulous stuff. Um, everything except ATIP is up, Uncle Bruce. Everything. Uh, you can't see YXT because you played it wrong, homies. <laughs> oh, man. I think we're on pace to break yesterday's volume, says Austin. Paul Rodriguez, yes. Uh, what? SoFi. You wrote $5 calls on SoFi? Um, uh, what? Um uh, uh what uh where are we here i sold five i sold seven five dollar calls and i took in 920 each uh and i'm getting worried when's the time to come back well uh yeah i would be i would be looking at uh uh getting out of here um yeah i would say so um this is 14 odd dollars uh, total 1420 we're now at uh 1561 um you may want to uh at the very least, uh, you know, buy these back, and um, I wouldn't be writing calls right now. I really wouldn't be writing calls. Uh, yeah, you may want to just get these back here and get out of this, uh, get out of the way. 1560 now, 1561, we're pushing new highs again. Um, volume now on SoFi, 75.4 million. Uh, okay, what are we here? Um, SoFi, uh, you go up. Uh, you uh, so if I up you go my today's best friend. okay thank you Robert um let's see um <laughs> oh man yeah I'm crazy Paul says I'm crazy uh yeah you, you gotta get out of there um okay uh five dollar calls why the face why would you do that uh let's see uh my SoFi April 15 calls are finally back to even let's go 
Yeah, stop the bleeding now, says DQ. Stop the bleeding now. Anthony, just want to say a big thank you as I have listened and learned from you. Also been a member from the beginning. I have lived off of stocks for a year and only been negative on the on Tuesday for one day, and I'm now green. Fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled, Anthony, and uh, I'm glad you're here. And um, let's just keep it going. Let's just, just let's keep it going. Uh, woof, woof, splurt. Wow, my calls look so green, says Robert. Associates, is this the day when the bleeding finally stops, or is it just temporary relief? Samuel, I'm so hyped about SoFi. I feel like all my patients are being, my, the patients is being rewarded. Will, Michael, I'm laughing with you. Dave, the Mac guy, $3 for a 250 ME January 2024 call. I couldn't help myself. 50 cent uh, eccentric. Yes, please. Um, John, uh, SoFi, new high, uh, 615, 63, 68. Yep, new high. Hitting new highs every minute. Ooh, go baby. SoFi volume now, 75 to 76 million. 1568, we're going higher. 1569, we're going higher. Going for the $16 price now on SoFi. Let's go. Let's go. B fits because of my own stupidity. Today I sold to close some of my contracts expiring tomorrow. If I had waited longer to sell them, I'd have 1300 more in my account right now. Next high is incoming, says uh, so, uh, Splair. Uh, so she is back to 28, please. Um, Trish the Dish. Uncle Bruce, do you think you could possibly do a class on what you were talking about yesterday, the 10, 90% rule? Uh, it's coming. Yeah, I can guarantee you that is the next class. Uh, that is the next class soon. I'll let you know when we're ready. Yep, yep, yep. Jennifer, uh, let's go. Carol, you know, I, if, if I have another day, if I have another baby, I will call the baby Sofi. Laugh a lot. I don't care if it's a boy. Uh, slingshot um, uh, engaged, uh, says Austin. The slingshot is engaged. Uh, 1572, 1573. We're going higher on 77.3 million. We're up two bucks now on your SoFi. Up two dollars a share. New highs, 1573, 74. We're going for 16 now. Get ready, kids. Any you know Marcus reacting to your grapefruit? Profit is profit, says Coyote. Through 28, please. Shake and bake, baby. Uncle Bruce volume will easily be over 200 million on SoFi. That stock, SoFi for SoFi. If you ain't first, you're last. Uh, thank you for the 672 people who are here right now watching. Please hit the thumbs up button and encourage more people to join us live. We have 566 thumbs ups. I appreciate this so much. If you could hit that thumbs up button for us. We'll get more people to come in here to follow the SoFi story. They'll follow Rocket Lab. They'll follow GameStop. They'll follow Matterport. They'll follow ME. They'll follow Spire. They'll follow it all. And they can join us. We're up 16 cents on Spire. ATIP unchanged. Smart Rent up 49. Sextera up 44 to 11.25. 15.75 on your SoFi. It's a new high. Mm. You still have great food. I can't eat the grapefruit fast enough because of what's happening here. It's insanity. There you go. We're having fun, Jen. We're having fun. 1650 shotguns. Let's go. 16 incoming on SoFi. Shake and bake. First time I've seen Uncle Bruce eating anything but a bagel. Not profit, uh, Gary. Just less of a loss, but still almost completely wiped out on those contracts. Um, come on, $20 on SoFi. I need to get out of those January 21st calls. I bought like six months ago. Michael, Austin, I, I, I got to get off a different beer. Don't feel like shotgunning double IPAs on a Thursday. Uh, can we get the zzz going? Um, let's see. Uh, what else is going on? There, there is no grapefruit. Uh, thumbs ups for Bruce. Uh, Michael, I'll shotgun mud water if SoFi keeps doing this. 1570 right now, up a dollar 78.9 million. 1576 for the high. 1575 right now. We're going higher. Uh, now you see me. Now you don't, says Magic Man. Um, we're going higher. Uh, SoFi looking like the Magic Man. Now you see me at 15. Now you don't. Fergan, oh my, oh my, oh my. 1572. 1575. Let's go. Let's go. Well, let's follow a grapefruit with a bagel. How about that? Oh, I can't wait to sell these SoFi covered calls in my Roth 
1597 is break even. I was just down five grand a couple of days ago. I kept averaging down on SoFi shares. Now I have a thousand shares. Let's go, SoFi. Uncle Bruce performing the great food method. Uh, Dr. G. Bruce, here's a $3 super sticker. Thank you. Appreciate that. All of you who do these, appreciate them. Splair showing zzz, 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 and like butter. Logos are popping up everywhere. Emojis, thank you, everybody. Guess they turned off the auto computer today. Zoom to the moon. Um, uh, the Michael uh, BZ is saying, Michael, the thought of shotgunning one of those uh, my 16-ounce double IPAs just made me feel real full. Uh, Spire, 257 up 19 cents. We're moving higher on the Spire. ATIP, 375 up two pennies. We've turned it around. Uh, we're up 48 on Smart Rent. We're up 46 on Sextera. 1127 on Sextera. So by 1577, 1579, new highs going for $16. Next stop, 1580, 1581 now on your SoFi. Volume now, 80 and a half million and climbing dramatically. We're going higher, kids. We're going much higher. SoFi, the real deal. The street gets it. They're getting it now. It's clicking. 1582. It's going, they're going, oh geez. This thing could go to like thirty dollars. I mean, uh, oh, I I should buy it here. Uh, hello. Mmm. Welcome to the party, pal. Mmm. Smear on a bagel. <laughs> Let's go. We're up four twenty six on the Dow. Wiping out yesterday's loss. We're up sixty three at S and P. 274 on NASDAQ, and it's the leader. NASDAQ is leading with a 1.9% gain. The Dow's only up 1.2, and it's up 426. It's the real deal, kids. 1585 on your SoFi. Let's go 16 and 17. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, my. Shmeal on a bagel. You got to love it. Going higher, guys. Your 15s are now 87 cents in the money. 1590. You're 90 in the money. 92, 1592. We're going through 16 like butter, like hot nights or soft butter. Your call contracts are going to be over a dollar each. These 15s that die tomorrow. And we're going higher yet. Um, let this thing run out and. Uh, and uh, recover some of your dough and then roll into future contracts further down the road. Fifteen ninety, eighty two and a half million volume. New high. Fifteen ninety two, the new high of the day. Neat, neat, neat. Okay, why you got it? Let's go. Don't stop eating, Bruce. It'll go down. <laughs> One hundred percent. Broke my own rule not to buy on green days. Added a hundred more. Let's go, baby. Associates, my average is fourteen seventy. I got nine hundred fifty shares now, and I'm not selling. Exactly. Fold your arms. Don't give it away. They can't have it. That's right, this $20 so far might not be that far out of the uh, range here all of a sudden. Oh, my. Carol, Uncle Bruce, I'm up 40% of my 750 calls for 120 23 Sell now and buy 15s for 550 Strike April 23 What do you think? Or wait, wait, do nothing, Carol. Fold your arms. Let it go higher. 1595 Just let it go. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. We're going streaking, says BZ. Is there a downside? You just let them expire in the money? Why? Why uh, why time on an exit is running? Am I missing? Uh, just let him run, John. Let the stock run. 1598. We're going to hit 16 now. And uh, we'll have a little correction perhaps. And then we'll pop higher. But we're going to go higher than this. Let this contract go into the money for you nicely. And uh, you'll cash out later today. Beautiful. 1598 going. Uh, should we roll our out of the money so by contracts is spring tomorrow during the afternoon show? Um, you might be doing that. Uh, again, if we uh, see the 16, the 1620, 1640, 1660 range, these contracts, some of these will, will pick up a little bit and it'll give, give you a shot at uh, perhaps some rollovers. Absolutely. 1598. Go, baby. 
84 million volume. This is serious volume, guys. 15.99 is a high now. I've been investing not too long now, but I just did stood up and did my first money dance. This is great. <laughs> Reddit, come on, 17. Let's go to 20 by tomorrow. Cindy, I think my July 15s are going to be a okay. My January 22 tens are looking good. Leave them alone, Cindy. Let them run. 1585.86. Let her go, baby. Frank the Tank. We're going streaking. VW Gen. Bring them all the bagels now. Give them bagels. Michael, do you think KFC is still open? So, how do you feel about the resistance at 15 now? Uh, BZ Frank the Tank. I'm laughing. Bobby, uh, who would correct? Uh, who would correct at 16? Wouldn't you still be in the red on average? Uh, why are people trying to sell their SoFi at a huge discount? Guys, learn to do nothing. Nobody wants to sell SoFi cover calls more than me. But we have a charter. Y'all have to know this is the holy grail. And that's exactly right. Uh, this stock is going to go a lot higher than $15, $16. We're going to $25, $30. Bucks. I haven't even started yet. Mm. So much fun. You get a bagel, you get a bagel, you get a bagel. <laughs> to break 16, we're going to go to 17. Mm. Guys, just leave the gun and take the cannolis. Be like Elsa from Frozen and let it go. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. The best thing Uncle Bruce ever taught me, patience. Patience. That's right. Let it run. Set 1583. Don't don't even worry about it. It's supposed to back off a little bit right now, but it'll take another run here through 16, and it'll go right through it. it just just watch. Just watch. I'm going higher. Oh baby, Dow's up 402. S&P up 62. Nasdaq up 278. Nice. Mm, mm, mm. ATIP has patience too. They do. They have real patience. Spire up 18 cents to 256. ATIP up a nickel now. 378. We're up 51 in Sextera. 1132. Rocket Lab 1030. 1032 in Rocket Lab. 1593 again on SoFi. Here we come for another run. GameStop 111.51 of 4.94. Matterport 12.46 of 55. Go. Let's go. 15.93 to 15.90.93 right now on SoFi. Mm -mm. <laughs> True. Fifteen ninety two ninety three. Um, as a matter of fact, Uncle Bruce did give us bagels at the meet and greet. It was they were delicious. Fifteen ninety eight new new high being pushed again. Fifteen ninety nine high of the day. We're at fifteen ninety seven. Fifteen ninety eight right now. Volume eighty eight point two million. Here we go. Sixteen next. Get ready. Say goodbye to sixteen. Here it is. Fifteen ninety nine. Here we go. Boom. $16. $16 has been touched now. I swear to sweet baby Jesus, Bruce, if you stop eating a bagel, there will be problems. Auntie Jen, more bagels. This man will die of bagel intoxication to make us rich. <laughs> Uncle Bruce, wouldn't it be wise to sell my SoFi shares then buy three call options for January 2023 and the money? I'm new to this. Sorry if it's a stupid question. Uh, in theory, you know, you can uh, leverage up, uh, you know, you can go from, from 100 shares to, you know, whatever shares you have to 300 contracts. Um, you know, if you have 60 shares and it turns into 300 shares through contracts and they're good till January. Um, and if they're in the money, um, you know, there's, there's definite, uh, you know, movement. Uh, uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and if you use those contracts, uh, you know, once the shares break through 2025, 20, you start writing poor man covered calls against them. Good plan, too. I don't have an issue with that. 1594, 50. 
98. Here we go again. We're coming for another run at 16. Mm -hmm. High today, $16. Volume now, 90 million. Here we go. Come on, 16, you can do it. What a day. Yeah, patience is not there, but I'm so hungry and I'm so happy watching you right now. <laughs> oh, man. 16 like butter. We're going through it, kids. We're going to go through it. Get ready. Here we go. We're going to do it. Just hit 16 briefly. I have a new position. 86 units at 15.94. And it's green. Yahoo. I think so. We'll go 16 down for a bit and then challenge 17 at the end of the day. If we practice patience, will the patients get therapists? Uh, no, don't sell SoFi. Uh, Polo Blue, $2. Uh, what should I do with these SoFi March 22 and a half bags? Hang on to them. Just sit tight. Just sit tight. You'll make money. Don't don't worry about it. You won't be, they won't be bags much longer. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, today's not the day to buy calls. The too much volatility on that. You might wait a day or two. Let things calm down a little bit. Uh, breaking even on so high. Thank you. Break 16 so far. Let's go. Let's go. It's 15.96 right now. Um, let's go. Um, Splayer. Nah, Samuel. It looks like we really go for 17. The moving average lines look almost unchanged to 70 CT. Distance between MA20 and 100. Looks like more people will join the insanity. 16 is the new 15. Um, so happy I increased my SoFi holdings by 33% since the beginning of December. Nice done, smoke talk. Julia, thank you. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm eight times on my 1650 call. Why did I only buy two? <laughs> Love walking back into the room and hear Uncle Bruce sounding like an excited auctioneer of Splayer TV. How is this insanity? Julia, what what a gamble. Well done. M Michelle, holy shizzle, you guys. Um, just checking in. And can you imagine my surprise to see what's up? Uh, Nacho Goldman Sachs making a very nice run today. 16.09 on your SoFi. Goldman up 9.68 to 3.57. Lovely. 1609, 1615 on your SoFi. Here we go. We're gone, baby. We're gone. 1614 on SoFi. Lovely. It's all gone. The stock's all gone. All that resistance yesterday at 1350, it's all gone. 94 million today. 615 new highs. 94 million on top of the 180 million. 270 million of buying coming in. The stock's all gone. 620, 1620 right now. 1620 new high. 1624 just touched it. The data buy calls was two to three days ago. Now is the time to sell calls, but with the upside move, can you predict the price? Wouldn't uh, might uh, sell them cheaper than you might do? Here we go. The target to close for sure, 27. Then I moved to fire, a fire first trade and have my own soul fly rather than leverage. Um, Matterport up 5%. It's up 62 cents. Uh, saved my bacon for sure, says Nacho. We broke through 16. A Papa Gamer. Um, yeah, and really enjoy. Okay. My first meeting went super, says Flint. Uh, 10,000 square feet building coming my way. Associates like butter. Like, but uh, uh, go so fi go, Uncle Bruce. I have a sex stare up, uh, ten dollar call that expires tomorrow. I paid one ninety eight and it's currently one twenty five. It's up fifty five dollars today, but I'm down seventy three overall. Would you sell today or see if it can recover more losses tomorrow? Uh, sex stare right now is at eleven twenty seven of forty six cents, and you have a, a ten dollar call, so it's got a book value right now of a uh, dollar twenty seven. Um, up, you know, uh, <laughs> I can't tell you how it, you know how it's going to go second to second to second to second. I just can't. Um, but you know, you're a lot better off now than you were three days ago. Um, it wasn't doing much then. Um, you may you may want to take your exit strategy and just say, okay, you know, I lost less than a hundred bucks, and uh, you know, sit tight, see what the market wants to give you the next couple of days. If there's a little bit of a correction, you may want to get back in again. Shift into something else. Uh, uh, totally up to you. Um, but you have some equity there. Sixteen twenty-one twenty-two on SoFi, by the way, um, and now up two fifty a share today.
Well, after you mention them, Julie, I got a bunch for myself. Awesome to sing to Michael. I kind of made the uh, 1650 shotgun bed because uh, I didn't think what happened. Uh, 1628 now. Uh, 4 million shares traded in two minutes. See you soon. 100 million shares. Dave D's yearly all time highs for SoFi. Um, it's just on the way up. It's just going up. Oh my God, SoFi. How exciting. Today is a fabulous day all around. Zzz, says Eric. Zzz, 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 zzz. We're moving. 1635 on SoFi. 1635, now 38. 1638 for the new high. 39 is the new high. 1639 is the new high on SoFi. We're rolling. Volume now, 99.8 million. There you go. 100 million traded here. Looking great. 440 point gain of Dow. 66 on S&P. 296 on NASDAQ. Oil up 63 cents. Okay. Going higher. We're going higher. Are you kidding me? What's happening on SoFi? Says Danielle. Look at this thing. Uh, says Gregory. That's what's happened on SoFi. Awesome news. SoFi asked uh, for volume and they were cranking it to 11. The volume knob is going to 11. It's going to pass 1650. Uh, someone's doing shotgun soon. Uh, my long $20 SoFi calls expiring tomorrow. Might actually end up in the money if this thing can keep going like this. JC, thank you. Um, uh, wow, my average on this thing is 17.25. Looks like I'll have a shot at breaking even on this. Um, let's see. Uh, so if I cut through 16, I just looked away for a minute. Bobby, 100 million volume. Uh, beautiful. Uh, thank you, Darren Rosen. Thank you, Darren Rosen, for this uh, donation on PayPal. It just clicked in. Thank you. Um, Volume is crazy. 10 million in five minutes reminding me of the GameStop days, uh, Gregory says. We're at 1625, 26. Volume on SoFi now, 102.8 million. Uh, rocking and rolling, 1626. Uh, the high today, 1639, I think. We're rocking and rolling, man. Everybody happy today, says Joe? Are you happy? TIF. There you go. 180 million idiots that sold soap by yesterday. How you feeling now? Amongst great days. Well, I guess I'm not going to get anything else done today. <laughs> Pick on 500 shares, my average, 1589. Um, DQ says to Nicholas, look away again, look away again. <laughs> this is how Warren Buffett feels all the time. That's right. This is what he, he just folds his arms and lets the market go up. So, there you go. I got to call my dad, says Flint. Back soon, he, he bought SoFi on my recommendation. Nicholas, I uh, just bought 2,000 shares of SoFi in the late, in the 15. See you at 17 today. Anti eight, my eight 1750s are showing some life. Um, let's see, anyone uh, that wants to admit it, you're welcome for SoFi, says Cheddar. Um, I'm feeling so much better with my 1450 share average. Now I just need to dump my $15 calls that expire tomorrow. This is crazy and I love it. 1609, 1611. Bruce, now I think the shorts are getting scared. Now we're 16, but at 17, we see covering. I, I believe it. Um, Austin, I know a guy who's super happy today, Alberto. Uh huh. Uh, uh, DQ, oh, look, a pretty pony. I'll be right back. Uh, SoFi is looking great, says James. Yes, it is. Uh, we're rolling here. 1610 right now. Um, very good day. The Dow is up 432, S&P up 64, NASDAQ up 285. Mm. Spire, 255, up 17 and a half. ATIP up four and a half. Apple is up uh, 289. Microsoft up 750. Goldman up 840 to 355. Facebook up 620. Amazon up 20 bucks. Tesla up 40. Google up 35. Power 
There's power coming in here. There's money coming in here. 1603, high of 1639, not a problem. Looking great on SoFi. Volume, 106,800,000. Nice. Mm, our 1750s will not die in vain, says Tiff. Mm. kind of volume is going to take us to the next level. Damn it. I'm, I'm eating lunch early today. I can't take it anymore, says Austin. <laughs> uh, George, Andy, same here. I have 20. I uh, was down three grand on them. Now I'm back in the green. Uh, SoFi is green um, and getting greener. Show me the money. Um, that's right, baby. Here we go. Resistance is futile. 16 could be the new support. Well, 1603 right now. Uh, open your trading account with SoFi. Um, let's go. That's yeah, going great. Looking good. 1603 right now. Mm, mm, mm. So much fun. So good. Mm. Thank you all for joining me today, tolerating me eat my food here. I'm trying to stay on top of these markets for you. 16.04 on SoFi. GameStop up 257. Matterport up 43 cents. Oh my God. 16.07 on SoFi. Looks like it's climbing a little bit again today. Oh man. Got gunk on my glasses. Oh, no. Gunk on my glasses. Hey. And a one, and a two, and a three. Oh, gosh. There's gunk everywhere. Just terrible. Terrible. How can I see out of these things? 1603 on SoFi. Let's go SoFi. That's better. Okay. A little better. Whew. All righty. Try to keep up all your comments. Thank you all for being here today. Appreciate this. We now have 594 thumbs ups. Thank you guys. Um, appreciate that. Um, it's nice of you to be here and, and seeing us. I appreciate it. I know that, uh, Dave, I'm I know you're trying to get some logos to show up. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, sometimes I have to manually override to let it through. I don't know why. I just do what I can. Um, 500. 95 thumbs ups guys thank you uh for that 1596 right now on sofi um fabulous uh, to see this kind of uh, support today uh it's just fabulous i love it love it love it all right um let's go uh, uh bruce you can't sign off today um you have to order up another bagel you're not going anywhere um and um and let's see um <laughs> oh, man um Uh, Tiff, TIF saying, I had a second company-wide meeting today. My flat hasn't been that clean in weeks. Home office is so much more productive. It is incredible. Yay, Bruce, yay, says Bagel Babe. Um, how do you deposit paychecks to SoFi? Do you simply snap a picture of it? Um, and uh, let's see. I'm going to pay off my SoFi personal loan off with profits from owning their own stock. That's going to be awesome. More bagels, Jen. Stat. Um, Let's see, bagels, more bagels. 110 million volume on SoFi. Uh, Shmia butter egg bagel now. <laughs> uh, you cleaned off the gunk and now SoFi is back below 16. Is this a coincidence? Uh, 1598 uh, right now. Uh, let's see. Um, Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, mm, 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 mm. Lots of talk here about opening an account with SoFi. Uh, we're up 42 cents on Rocket Lab. We're at 15.98 to 15.99 on SoFi. We've got GameStop at 108.64, up two bucks. Matterport at 12.22, up 31 cents. ME at 4.90, up nine. 
Spire, 253 up 15 and a half cents. ATIP at 377 up four. Smart Rent up 36 cents to 784. Sextera up 38 cents to 1119. AMC is at 1901, uh, 1902 holding 70 cents. Robinhood at 1465 up 76 cents. Vanek up 288. Home Depot up 32 cents. IBM up 39 cents. The Dow is up 385. Uh, the high on the Dow was 35,490. We're at 35,416. Slight pullback, but nothing serious here. Microsoft at 310, up 717. Started this morning in the low at 307. It's been up all day between 307 and 311. It's doing great. Microsoft doing well. Apple up 284 to 169.07. Goldman up 840 to 355. Uh, this 360, 65 level is where I'm looking for a recovery, and then uh, covered calls should be written uh, from in, in, ahead of that. Cisco down nine cents to fifty eight eighty one, Facebook up five fifty one, Amazon up seventeen dollars, Tesla up thirty six, Google up thirty six bucks, Royal Caribbean up two eighty three to th eighty four forty six. Unbelievable, uh, but true. Uh, that is uh, the dealio here. That's what we are seeing right now. Uh, Moderna down two forty eight to one seventy one fifty nine. Uh, fifteen eighty four to fifty yeah fifteen eighty four right now on SoFi. The volume. 113 million a uh, nice little run here a little pullback at the moment but that's to be expected i think we reload our bullets and see if we take another shot um would not be surprised if it takes another shot higher after a slight pullback here and watch out 1589 right now keeping an eye on this one um let's see Whew, thank you, everybody. Uh, let's see. Um, it's taking a little bagel break. Just uh, stand by. And uh, neat, neat, neat. There it is. Uh, neat, neat, knee is right. Um, and uh, <laughs> let's go. Um, Gary, anything about SoFi? No overhead, low building lease. No building lease, no paying tellers. Low processing speed is built on online platform. Quick loans approvals. Yep, there it is. Uh, 1586 right now on uh, SoFi. Um, GameStop is up over 109 again, to up 258. And um, uh, Rocket Lab up 40 cents to 1025. Matterport 1221. ME 490. Spire 253 up 15 cents. We're up four on ATIP uh, right at the moment. So lots of green here. At the moment, um, let's see, uh, let's go, let's go, yeah, 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 lots of people talking about the the potential of SoFi as a non-bank branch uh, entity, exactly, exactly right. Uh, comment of the day, laughing out loud, says KY. Um, where are we at now? We have 601 thumbs ups. Thank you guys for um, coming through for me, <clears throat> bringing in these thumbs ups. It's really helping out today. Uh, the channel is getting a, a nice little bump because of this, so I appreciate it. It's great to see uh, some good volumes today on the uh, channel, and the thumbs-up volumes are fabulous. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, we've got, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, let see, anything else I need to say on top? I'm looking at all my other... Things going on at the same time. Oh man, 608 thumbs ups. There they go. There they go. Thank you guys. Um, and um, uh, we're now looking at uh, 1581 on uh, SoFi. 158182. 83 now uh, on SoFi. Whew. Uh, lots to follow here. Um, okay. Already, apparently this one percent offer DQ. Uh, I've I heard Noto talking about this last night on Kramer. They're talking about offering interest on checking account balances and stuff. Not sure if it's official yet on the site, but look for it sooner or later. It will be official everywhere. Fifteen ninety, fifteen ninety one on SoFi again. Okay, fifteen ninety three now ninety. 15.95 on SoFi. 15.95 volume, uh, 115.8 million coming through. One 15.93 to 15.95 right now. <laughs> Thank.
Thank you, Uncle Bruce. But now that you're not going to be online much longer, uh, you really need you know, the stock's dropping. You need to stay online. You can't leave us, you know. Um, the interest on my local bank on savings is 0.1%. Uh, Cowbell says Nacho Concern. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> yep, that's right. 1% on checking will be the highest anywhere if they pull that off. 1589, 1592 on uh, SoFi. GameStop 10880, uh, Rocket Lab 1019. Matterport 1219, ME 488, and Spire 251, ATIP 375, Smart Rent 789, Sixter 1119, AMC um, 1892. Okay, uh, there we are. 1598 on SoFi, approaching the $16 level yet again on SoFi. 1599. Right now, fifteen ninety nine on SoFi. I doubt there's any real resistance at sixteen. I doubt there's much there. Sixteen oh four. Right through a uh, hot knife through soft butter. Right through at sixteen oh four last trade. Sixteen oh six now, climbing again. Um, let's see. Um, People talking about interest rates at bank. 16.06 on uh, SoFi. We're up 235 now. 16.08 up 237 on your SoFi. 16.08 last trade. 16.10 now. 118.3 million. 16.10. 16.13. High of the day. 16.39. We're at 16.13 right now on your SoFi. Coming on yet again. All right. 1650 resistance says uh, Dave uh, for SoFi. 1650, there's a resistance level there. 1618 now, $16.18 on SoFi. Climbing again, uh, 1620. We just jumped 40 cents in, um, in three minutes. Uh, 1620 a share right now on SoFi. Um, there is, uh, there is uh, anyone who short this stuff is getting hammered. There could well be shorters trying to scramble back here. Uh, they come in to buy some stock and it pops on them. It just pops away. Gapping out 1620 right now uh, on the SoFi shares. 249 gain. 1623 just jumped another three cents. 1623. Um, uh, isn't this fun? Says Gonzo. It sure is. Uh, 1625 big order sitting, but likely just an algo. 1623, 20, 20 to 23 to 25 right now. On SoFi volume now 120 million 600 thousand uh, millions just being taken out 1621 right at the moment high today 1639 um, do you think that they'll eventually get into insurance over at SoFi I know they partner with some other businesses but that seems to be a bit fit, good fit you never know uh, you don't put it past them uh, just you know 1626 by the way 13 cents from the high today 1626 now. Um, I did buy some silly out of the money contracts for tomorrow just for the fun of it. Spent 20 bucks total, says Cindy. Right on, Cindy. I hope it turns into thousands. 1623 uh, on, on SoFi. Mm, high of the day, 1639 for the day. Uh, okay, go, SoFi, go. Uh, 1650, then 17 is the solid resistance for sure. Uh, wow, those 100 shares from yesterday are looking very good today, says Dan. Beautiful, beautiful stuff, man. Well done. Enjoy the run. 16.09 at the moment. We're going to jump 10, 15 cents back and forth like like butter, like nothing. Just nothing now. But uh, the underlying uh, issue is uh, a lot of buying has come in. A lot of stock has been taken off the market. It is not for resale. Uh, stock's being picked up by, I believe, institutional investors. And you can't, you're not going to get it back until it hits triple digits. Um, we're thinning out quickly. Uh, 16, 11, 12 again. Uh, a little pop yet again. Okay. Uh, let's see. 16, 10, 16, 13. Now, 13. Uh, volume of uh, the Dow is up 386, 1.1%. Uh, uh, S&P is up 57, up 1.2%. NASDAQ up uh, to 243 points, up 1.7% right now. Oil up 67 cents a barrel to 87.63. And uh, 16.11 now on SoFi 
as we are watching this closely. Um, 123 million volume in less than two hours. Let's freaking go here. Um, and uh, let's see. Uh, Spire is crapping out right now. Spire is 250 up 12 and a half cents. ATIP is up three. Uh, Smart Rent 786 up 38. Sixter up 36 cents to 11. 17. Um, so far, 16, 16 coming on again. Dow's climbing. We're up 404 on the Dow. 16, 18 on SoFi. Someone on Wall Street Bets turned $2,400 into $110,000 on contracts expiring tomorrow. Market is plateauing again, says Dave. Uh, SoFi calls. Uh, somebody made that money on SoFi calls, apparently. I think we're in between next uh, next week after over 20, maybe near 25. Dust and profits, uh, profit, but this ain't nothing yet. Keep those arms folded, y'all. As Uncle Bruce says, patience pays off. 1620, climbing again on SoFi. Now at 1620 a share. Uh huh. Coming back. Um, 1639 high today. We can easily annihilate that. Anytime. <clears throat> Fun times, baby. Fun times. <clears throat> yeah. $16 a share is a nothing burger for this stock. It should be double this price. So we have a ways to go. Oh, boy. Is anyone going to be around this afternoon at 3 o'clock to join me for the last hour of trading today? I'd love to have you pop in. Catch up with me at 3 Eastern as we finish the market off today. Um, learn how to write options. Check my <clears throat> check my website, uh, stockmarketswithbruce.ca, and you can uh, take some lessons there on how to write call options and how to do uh, spreads and write poor man covered calls, how options work, why they go up, how they go down, how they depreciate, how to take advantage of it. The lessons are inside the class, uh, inside the website that you're – for you to enjoy uh, two hours each one, there's 10 classes. You'll learn a lot in there. Uh, you can join a bunch of folks here who are making all kinds of money writing options. 1610 right now on SoFi. Uh, 108.79 on GameStop, up 222. Thank you all. Uh, Uncle Bruce, if SoFi hits 22 to 25 and Matterport is still down here at 11, 12, 13, wouldn't it be a good idea to take my SoFi and switch? Well, you know, the way I would do it is I would write SoFi calls, use that money to buy Matterport. That's how I would do it. Just keep writing calls when you can write calls. That's how I do it. Um, um, amongst great days, I'll be around for the afternoon show. Yeah, on a day like today, I'll see if I can fit this in for sure. Uh, Aviator, I sold a 110 GameStop covered call. I'm holding 20 SoFi calls, going to need a blood pressure check. Splare, Uncle Bruce, what is your SoFi feeling around tomorrow? I'm scared of the possible dip at the beginning due to the options that expire, or do you think more money could join to SoFi? We may be 20 bucks tomorrow on SoFi. We might well run it to 20. Uh, 16.22 now on SoFi, and we may well go to 17.50 today. We might even reach 18. Uh, and then tomorrow we could easily go through 20. Remember the Matterport? When it went up five bucks one day, then it went up three the next, and three the next. It just kept going and going. The momentum would not stop it. So far, could be very much the same idea here. Um, I'm just waiting for more analysts to come in with their buy recommendations and their upgraded target prices. Uh, and I think we'll just go higher. I, I don't think 15 is the resistance point at all. Um, neither was 14, and neither is going to be 16. Uh, we're, we're just going to go higher. Um, the real deal has arrived. Uh, Gonzo, I've had some good days while following Obers, but this is turning out to be my best. Thanks, Uncle B. Right on, Gonzo. Um, I suppose I, I, I cleared my time schedule for the afternoon show in between counting my money and counting my money. <laughs> well, let's hope so. Uh, please do join me at 3 o'clock this afternoon for the final hour of trading. Um, in the meantime, keep your eyes on stocks in this market. 1613 on your SoFi. Uh, baby, we're going for a new high, I'm sure, at any moment. And we can go much higher than this. Um, GameStop, uh, short to percent of float, has written to 33% now uh, in its last report. Um, uh, there's um, uh, This is GameStop, which is 13.6 uh, of all regular shares. Well, we'll see if that's true. Um, let's see. Um, uh, hopefully not exactly the same. Uh, Matterport went down hard. 
Um, thanks for your sharing of thoughts, uh, Splair. Uh, I just think of where I could catch a bargain so that I'm uh, quicker back in my money, more on cash, more stock on lever. Uh, Splair, have a good break, Uncle Bruce, if you try to leave us. Uh, Socius, do you believe that number, Erico? A DQ, a pre market gold stream, um, 8 30 a.m. daily stream, 3 p.m. daily stream, Wednesday primetime stream. My wife just asked if Bruce is ever not on the air, laughing out loud. Uh, when is he not in front of his viewers, especially his gold member viewers? These guys right here. These guys right here get the best of the best. Thank you for your support of this channel. Thank you for becoming gold bagel members of this channel. I thank you so much. I do what I can to, to give back to you the best value I can. Um, I have no conflicts of interest. I don't trade stock. I comment on it, and you guys make the dough, and uh, your generosity takes care of Jen and I, and we thank you so much for being so kind to us. 16, 13 to 18 is the SoFi market right now. What a day. Uh, there's 58,000 open interest on the $20 calls on SoFi expiring tomorrow. Let's see if they're going to try to run it up to that level, and it could happen. See all this afternoon, says Joanne Splair. And y'all, if we don't uh, read uh, read us again until later, good luck and enjoy the breaks from Blur. Neat, 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 Erico. I believe half of what I see and zero of what I hear. Just hoping for Bruce's thoughts when I throw uh, out into uh, what I find here. 1618 on your SoFi right now. Um, and then the 80 here and no thumbs. Check thumbs twice before leaving. That channel is great. Munamo, uh, thank you. Uh, I told my wife Bruce listens to me, and he cares. There you go. Thumbs for Bruce. Uh, Splayer, neat, neat, neat for Bruce. Uh, 1618 on the uh, SoFi shares right now, up 247 uh, on the day. 1618. Volume now on SoFi, 128.6 million shares. A very good day. Thanks for keeping us um, uh, in, Uncle B. You got it, Eddie. Joanne, I bet she ignored you, says DQ. Uh, Rocket Lab up 33 cents to 1018. Uh, we have SoFi at 1612. Uh, we've got GameStop at 108.99 up 242. Matterport uh, 1227 up 36 cents. We've got um, ME at 489 up 88 eight cents. Spire 249 up 11 and a half. ATIP at 379 up six. Smart rent 785 up 37 and six there 1115 up 34 cents at the moment. That's where we are sitting. The Dow is climbing again. We're up 431 on the Dow. We're up 62 on S&P. We're up 262 on the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is up 1.8%. The S&P up 1.3 and the Dow is up 1.2%. Uh, Microsoft up 780. Apple up $3. Goldman up 774. Cisco down 4. Facebook up 520, Amazon up 11, a Tesla up 38, Google up 36 dollars. Uh, a very good day today on a bunch of our stocks and uh, a very good market as well compared to yesterday and the day before. Nasdaq was this morning in correction territory. It is not now. It's running. It's running higher, and there is buying coming from all over the place because more rumors are coming out that there's a possibility that the Fed might only do a double interest rate increase next next year, this year, instead of four rate increases, they're talking now two. The whisper rumors are such that that might be the case. The 10-year note is now at 1.83%. It is not at 1.9%. It is lower, and it might go lower yet. We'll see what happens. Uh, could be a lot of fun. Uh, Bruce, Uncle Bruce, what do you do with your life? Uh, I sit in front of a computer. Talk about the market with my friends. Um, uh, Beach Boy, is SoFi a buy for me or or just sit this one out? Any thoughts, Uncle B? Um, you just sit with what you have. You're doing great. Uh, and um, uh, we want that GameStop to just pop a little more. You're doing great. And uh, we're going to be just fine. Um, yeah, we're going to be busy. Um, things are coming. Thank you all for seeing for seeing me today. Uh, we're at 1620 on your SoFi. 1620 again on SoFi. Um, Nicholas is thinking it's going to 25 real soon. Uh, there you have it. But um, 1617, 1620 on SoFi. A volume now is uh, oh uh, 130 million shares. Only 50 million away from yesterday's total. Uh, we're going to break yesterday's total. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll. we'll likely break 200 i'm pretty sure 
let's just see how it runs and uh, keep an eye on things here. Uh, 16, 16, 16, 17 at the moment. 110 now on GameStop, trying to come back on again. Very interesting day today. I hope you're enjoying this morning's show. I thank you for uh, the thumbs ups that have come through here today. 632 thumbs ups. I thank you for that uh, very much. If any of you are watching this on rerun, hit the thumbs up button for me. Even on rerun, hit that thumbs up button and let's run that thing higher. I uh, would sure love to see seven or 800 thumbs ups over the next day or so on this show. It makes a huge difference and I thank you all so much for your uh, your support I, I appreciate it it's fabulous all right okay um let's see uh what's going on um mm. i think we're far from done beach boy but i know you asked the question to bruce and not me um and you're not on so far uh, zed uh, is asking oh, beach boy's got some got a little bit um Anyway, another minute, every minute, another million volume on SoFi. Uh, 1607 right now, 1608. It will jump. It will do 20, 30, 40 cent swings. Uh, get used to this. Uh, but there's an underlying current of money coming in here because uh, the smart money knows uh, this company is going to restate their financials shortly. Analysts are going to restate everything about this company's financials and prospects. Um, target prices are going to be completely redone for the stock and you can just say goodbye to $20 price estimate moves, $25 estimates. You can say goodbye to that. You can start saying hi, hello to $30, $40 and $50 target prices for your SoFi. Get ready for those to come at you and don't be surprised when you see them by some pretty serious Wall Street uh, prognosticators. SoFi is going a lot higher. Okay, there it is. You heard it here kind of first. I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. I appreciate those of you who have been here listening to, uh, hanging out with me. I appreciate the company. 643 thumbs ups now on the show. Thank you all for this. I'll see you this afternoon at 3 o'clock Eastern time for the last hour of trading today. Join me for that. Let's see how we're working this. Um, BW Uncle Bruce, it's happening. The others will follow. Today is SoFi's day. So we'll let it be the start of the portfolios. The other time will come and will be changed forever. All the other stocks will follow. I agree. I, I believe every one of these SPACs, former SPACs that you guys are into, will all give you what SoFi is giving you and more. Uh, just have to stick around and enjoy the show. Just stick around for it. Don't go anywhere. And we'll see what's going on. I'm not so uh, concerned. Thank you. Have a good one. We'll see you guys at 3 o'clock this afternoon for the final hour. Thanks all so much. Uh, and away we go. 100 million a day until next week. Yeah, we're at 30. There's no doubt about that. Okay, guys, see you at 3. Bye for now.